That is hilarious. I had to laugh my ass off at that, though. I'm telling you, Claire, I laugh. You're in danger. You can't say anything. You can't talk to anybody. And you're checking in on Facebook, telling people like your flight number to Canada or whatever. I'm being a smart ass there. But still, y'all, y'all see where I'm going with that. That is freaking hilarious, girl. Get your shit together. <sighs> she really did that. Right? God damn. I used to love you once upon a time. And even you should laugh at that shit. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm in danger. I can't talk, but here I am checking in at the Hilton airport. Mm. Am I going to be the only one talking? Is no, no, hang on. I'm doing, I can't multitask, girl. Give me a minute. <laughs> Give me a minute. God damn it. Uh, where are you? Are you waiting for me? Because I might be a uh, I'm sorry. No, I was looking for my spray. Don't tell me to okay. go. No, I need other people up here. Go. Huh? I need other people. Talk to me like that, damn it. Go. Anyway, there's a spray that I do use. It's a numbing, just, you know, regular lidocaine. But it helps. It it, it helps when I talk after I, I use it for a while. It'll help. For it doesn't while. help it's us because we're time. still listening to you. You know. <laughs> I'm being real nasty to you. I, I know. I know I'm getting it all in now because you're gonna oops, but you're gonna boot me like any fucking second. But let me just show this before you boot me. What are you doing? What are you showing? Well, give me a second and I'm gonna fucking show you. Yeah, I'm just like a cold open. I don't. I feel real cold right now. I have. I cannot find a rhythm for some reason. I know it's only been a couple of minutes, but still. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that, what was I saying about uh, it being a ghost town? I don't it, know. It was a ghost town. <laughs> okay. Uh, Can anything else be done? Is anybody still making videos? Who cares? Honestly. Doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> but all right. What am I doing? I just shared that with you. I just wanted everybody to see what, what, what we meant by... This is a person whose life is in serious danger. And we ain't throwing nobody under the bus. This is shit that's funny to me. This I thought this was yeah. funny. <laughs> Claire, get your ass in here right now. This is her Facebook hey. fucking post. Somebody is in fucking goddamn danger. Her life is in danger that she's literally... So, just because, I mean, regardless, she can try and strike for privacy. It's never go through. But I did take out the actual address. That right there... This is funny. It's Claire. the actual number of the address of where she literally is. That's somebody. <laughs> so I guess your life stops being in danger when you move to another country because at that point it becomes perfectly okay to pinpoint to the exact degree of latitude and longitude with the address of yeah, where you Yeah, come on, are. man. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't. Yeah, I don't want anybody busting my balls about this because that is hilarious. Give me a That is hilarious break. to me. It's not like I hate you, Claire, or anything like that, but you've, no. you've, you've disappointed me greatly. And I'm sorry to see that y'all are still discussing everything that happened, even though it happened, you know, this fell apart. What, I don't even know how long now, but y'all are still talking about it. So Mr. Shannonite's so, asking why we're doing this. Oh, no, I'm here just because I wanted to. I'm here because I want to be. I'm doing this because I want to. What is this live going to be about? I have no fucking clue. I make an eggnog. I'll let y'all know how drunk I get by hour five. Um, providing she still has a voice providing I still have the voice of course but no I wanted to come up and hang out with everybody what are we doing well I mean, what is I mean for me I can I can explain for myself it's a matter that you know it, it seems to be that I, I kind of feel that everybody seems to be giving Claire a pass I'll fucking what? Say what do you mean everybody's giving Claire a pass Claire's all of a sudden back Back on fucking YouTube, posting under Sandy's comments. She's able, because all of a sudden her life isn't in danger anymore. Everybody's giving her a pass with the fact that she fucking lied about the copyright strikes. She lied. Why is nobody else calling her out on this shit? But why would they at this point? You know what I mean? Well, you know, I think it's just kind of hypocritical because the whole, a lot of the point of this was, you know, people like the subs give AD a pass. He gets a pass. He gets a pass for lying. He gets a pass. You know what? You're fun. you're right on that. Everybody makes an excuse for him, <laughs> or just ignore it. Uh, uh, swipe, swipe it. You know, sweep it under the rug. Uh, just you know, don't acknowledge it. 
um, things like that. Yeah, I understand what you mean. I, I understand. Yeah, and you're right. You know, giving her a pass for what? You don't have to say anything. But that was, I would rather have anybody have said something rather well, than you know, nothing at all. Even even just a, you know what? Yeah, we failed. I fucked up. That that's sucks, all. man. I fucked up. That's it. That's all. I don't expect a long, drawn out, emotional. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was doing. Just to, you know. You what? haven't heard from anybody since I've been here. Since I've been gone. Nothing. Wow. Wow. That is that's shitty. Hi, Suzanne. Suzanne Contenti. Chat. I just start. Yeah, it is really shitty. It, the whole. The I whole need. Thing. I need a couple of other people up here. But um, do you want me to drop the link? I don't right? like you. You're not being fun right now. I'm just well. saying. People are bored. <laughs> people are getting bored. Do you want me to drop the link in the chat or not? Because you can't keep telling people to come up. If there's not going to be a link. Well, if I have any mods in the chat, they should be already. Damn. That's because Carrie's not here. Where is she? She would have had Anna that. Is here. She would have had that shit taken care of. Amber is here, right? Well, I don't know what yeah, the fuck. Why did Anyway, yeah, yeah. Why did you hire yeah. them? What did you hire them for? <laughs> Look, because I liked them. I at the time I liked them, and um, some of them I still like. Some I don't. But hey, you know I liked you once upon a time. I thought you were cool. I didn't realize you were just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Stoned me. <laughs> don't. I prefer idiotic things. All right. Um, okay. I can't see the chat because I'm switched to the other side. Uh, do you see any questions or comments or people um, pissed off yep. at me? Well, I don't okay. care. I'm actually at the point now of, about my life, y'all, that I just don't fucking care. Anymore. Well, I mean, when and, it boils um, down to it, apparently everything is in the hands of the lawyers. So there's nothing that we can say or do at this point that's going to change anything. Or there's nothing more we can do that's going to help anything because it's all legal now, yeah, right? But we Gotta stay silent. Time, ah, stay silent. It's all legal. It's all yeah, it, 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 that's it. I said though. I said I thought I I thought we did talk about that one thing, but I guess I was wrong because in those two live streams and everything has happened. So so many things have happened since then. So um, my my time uh, <laughs> perspective essentially has has been skewed and. Um, I thought that you know nobody was really discussing this anymore, and, but then when you put out <sighs> conversations with people, decontextualized, that's kind of shitty. That's a shitty thing to do. That means you just want to keep it going. Yep. So if you want to keep it going, well, especially I'm your huckleberry. You I'm your fucking it. huckleberry. Let's keep it going. If you <laughs> I don't care. Well, especially when it comes care. out of nowhere after a month. Like, it's been there been no talk and nothing. Tell me how the fucking bank is. Okay, is anybody in? Dorothy, how the fuck am I brainwashed? Have you lost your mind? Oh, she can't speak for a week because she got a community strike. I mean, she had an internet fire. I that don't care. Her whole internet service You can say anything, but really, you're going to sit here and say that I was fucking brain Me, of all people, and that's what's funny. Me. No, you when I have a voice. history, obviously, of coming out and talking the truth and standing up for people and, and, and being an honest person, I understand that that probably hurts some people's feelings. And I'm sorry if I disappointed y'all for doing so, but I had to do that because I wanted people to know why his channel was coming back. And that's why we did this. It wasn't ever about a personal thing. Brainwashed. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck up, down, left, right. Fuck sideways. Fuck and off. Fuck back that. around again. <sighs> brainwashed yeah i was kind of annoyed by that too <laughs> but just you and i right just you and i happy thoughts helen happy thoughts wasn't brainwashed uh nuff nuff wasn't brainwashed stand up wasn't brainwashed those guys were spearheading all of it right? it was just you and i that have apparently been brainwashed god damn that's just that that truly upsets me in a way to where because i take it really personal because y'all know me Amber wasn't brainwashed. So you're going to make that excuse. Amber's the, reason the most why I brainwashed out of all of us. Because, oh, because I'm brainwashed. Amber's the most so, brainwashed out of all of us. Why didn't you call her? No, <laughs> Lizzie is. Okay? Yeah. Lizzie is. She's the one that brainwashes people. Don't well, forget that. 
no, no, we got her brainwashed because she's here. It's Saturday night. It's like Pavlov's theory, right? Ring the bell and the dogs fucking uh, drool. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> What's the uh, sentiment in chat? Because I can't see a baby. Um, well, first thing I'm looking at is Polly saying Dorothy is a shit stir, and I agree with that 1,000 fucking percent. Um, Suzanne, it doesn't go away that there's been so many lies told. Cannot stand. Yeah. Yep. Can't stand the lies either. And you know what? This whole lies of omission too. Standing and not saying anything and, and not speaking up is just as bad, if not fucking worse. Hi, Welsh I don't know why I asked if you had heard from anybody because I hadn't, and I expected to. I was, I'm, I'm still very disappointed in in the way that played out with some people because, and I understand that they were probably put into a very difficult position. But I never asked anybody not to speak to anyone, much, much less me. And on the other hand, I know that y'all know me, and I'm honest, and it, and, and it probably did piss a lot of you off. Um, but I did, I only did as much as I did because that's why we're here. I was here. We were here talking about this this fucking party. Yeah. Bomb. And this whole room. Oh, and, and everything whole... that we invested in that at the end. Uh, and, and what was really ludicrous was people saying, well, we have to be quiet now. No, no. no well, we and not only the just be quiet, Sam, but also the, well, you've turned on the family. You've turned on the family. If fucking anything that pissed I me hope off, nobody is saying that. Hopefully that. nobody is saying that still. I think, it, still... I think it was pretty quickly snuffed out, but. After Good. everything, both of those lives that we did, that was the one thing that we consistently said is that this has nothing to do with the family specifically. It yeah. was about fucking Claire. And we have somebody that just about the first the thing they did was run with that. Well, what does it matter that she lied? And it went from there. It was literally one person that was trying to stir that pot. Oh, well. Hey, that just want to say hi. Oh, hey. Can y'all talk for a little bit? I gotta go. I gotta go out here into the kitchen really, really quickly. Oh, can't stuff. We talk? You don't Are mind? You kidding? Of course we can. Thank talk. you. It's been uh, like I'm talking to myself. Though. And I'm gonna say hi. Hi. Guys. hi. Just and, to really quick, just to stay on this track that that you guys are on because I don't want to have to go back to it once you guys get off what of track? it. Track? Huh? I don't. I I don't think we're on a track. We're kind of well, derailed. They have no fucking clue. Okay. Um. So, first off, I want to say Amber's the one that brainwashed everybody. It's all Amber. <laughs> her um, guinea pigs. Her guinea pigs. Right, <laughs> right. She mesmerized us with guinea pigs, convinced us of there's evil out there in the world, and sent us on to attack. And she probably oh. she probably was directed to do that by Martin. So, it, ultimately, it's Martin's fault, right? So, um, <laughs> Still waiting for my final pay, by the way, Martin. Yeah. So one other thing, seriously, though, I've heard certain people's names being said. OK, first off, a lot of people have messaged, not a lot, but some people have messaged me um, thinking that a lot of us are taking a break. Well, we are taking a break, but we're still watching. We just have nothing to say at the moment because there just seems to be a lot of stupidity being thrown around. So we just we're not commenting. Um, but there are there are certain people's names that constantly keep coming up. And in my opinion, it needs to fucking stop. First off, Jenny Nuffnup was not the only person that called Claire a liar. She wasn't even the first person. There was four of us that ended up getting up on Bam's panel that day and exposing Claire. It wasn't just Jenny. So if you're calling her out, shut the fuck up. The other one... I'm getting almost done. I'll be right there. The other one is Suzanne. I'm call Morgan. <laughs> Suzanne, you want to call her out. Certain person, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I can tell you, Claire, if you're listening, you know that I fucking know that those screenshots you sent Dorothy were not in the proper order. They weren't part of that, of the original screenshot. Yes. Now, am I going to take screenshots to prove that? No. But just know, Claire, there, there's what, 15 people in that chat? 15, 20 people? We all can see what, what order it was in. You sent Dorothy a bunch of bullshit. She's running with it. She needs to get fucking Suzanne's name out of her mouth because there is nobody that is more loyal and more helpful and more kind than Suzanne. Well, with, I think partially too, sorry to interrupt, just for one quick second, the disturbing factor is those the screenshots she did show, those are from chats long before Claire pulled herself out of that asylum group because I was part of that asylum group. Which means Claire was screen recording or screenshotting every fucking thing that was going on in that chat long before problems ever happened. So yep. let's and so that fucking out there. 
Yeah, and one other thing really quick that um, I'm seeing in chat that I forgot about. And I, I need to make this really fucking perfectly clear because some people seem to not ha be able to comprehend or they can't hear correctly. Jenny, Susie are not in asylum. They've never fucking been in asylum. So by Jenny, she was not, not, not me. I was. Well, okay, yeah, not. I'm so confused, no. but that's not that's not surprising. But I got to okay. mute and I'm still listening. Yeah, that's fine. Of course. So, the people that need to hear this know what I'm talking about. She's never been in asylum. So you need to stop that shit too. You're trying to go for the wrong fucking people for the wrong fucking reason. You want to stand up for Claire because she's your bestie? Cool. You can do that. But you want to drag people down because of it? No, you're done. You're done because there's a lot of us. There's a lot of people that have been quiet for way too fucking long. And you're not gaining any friends over there, Dorothy. You're losing them faster than you're gaining. Can I interrupt for one second? Just to tell you guys, I have to run out the door, but I love and miss you all. And I'll check back later. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. See you when you get back. So, again, just to hit the high points again, Nuff Nuff wasn't the one that called Claire out. There was five of five other of us. And then... Sam and Jen came when nobody, nobody fucking persuaded them or swayed them or influenced Jen and Sam. They're fucking smart enough. They saw their own shit. They brought their own opinions out. Nobody convinced them of anything. Second, Jenny isn't in asylum. So stop that. Third, those, those screenshots, they weren't part of that actual conversation, at least not in the order that Claire said. And yes, we saw what Claire told you about what order they were in, because Dorothy, you can't fucking scare, share your screen without fucking doxing your shit. So we saw, yeah, you showed your email to Claire, your little communications, by the way, and your quick showing, which I find interesting when Alan A.D. Uh, uh, shows Claire's email address, she privacy strikes him, but I'm sure she didn't privacy strike her friend Dorothy for doing the same thing. No, and that's fine. She doesn't have to privacy strike her. Dorothy's get, getting her own shit from a bunch of other people with the Natasha Cooper crap. And my final point is Suzanne is the loveliest fucking person. And you trying to drag her because you don't have anybody fucking else to name. You're just going to name Jenny and Suzanne. I don't know why. I don't know why, because there were other ones involved. I was involved. Stand up was involved. Helen was. There was other ones. I don't know why. Leave Suzanne the fuck out of it. You're just pissed off because the shit with Bam went sideways with you because you want to stand up for Claire, fine, fine. But you don't be fucking blaming Suzanne because she told Bam exactly what Claire fucking said. And again, <clears throat> Claire, 15, 20 people in that fucking chat know what you said and know the context it was meant in. So don't fucking try to say it. Was well, that's, oh, oh, you know what? I know this. Um, I'm going to say this again. Um, hopefully y'all can hear me. Uh, my... If I say anything or, you know, um, show anything or prove anything or disprove anything, I have, I, I'm able to, I'm grown. This is my channel. These were my conversations. These are my discussions. If I'm going to say anything, I can. I'm not disingenuous. I've never lied to anybody. I have no motive to lie. Um, well, why, why is it when we speak out, we're, we're, we're turning our backs on the family? It hasn't been and that then if we don't for a very say, long time. And, and if we don't say anything, then we're accused of abandoning the family. What the well, fuck? Well, if I remember well, right, at this point, I remember right that. we were told we needed to be quiet now because everything's in the hands of the lawyers, right? So we're fucking quiet, and then people want to oh, say... Oh, no, 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 this is what it was. This is what it was. I, I thought we discussed this the last time we were on, and, and y'all said, no, we didn't talk about that. We were going to, and, and, and uh, that was the last the live stream that I did that... Uh, when the stuff was happening with Maddie. So I had to shut down really quickly. And we started that second one later on. Um, that same week that everything happened, I told y'all uh, all this stuff before, but never really went in depth. With it. But I thought I told you that we knew that she was a lawyer because she showed us everything that the lawyers had. She had us on that page with the case manager. All right. She gave him her fucking utility bill to confirm her address. And they did background check. And Frank Rusek Jr. signed off a paper saying, yeah, she can, she can, you know, be in this whole conversation. Nothing about a lawyer, nothing, no credentials. I don't even fucking care about that. But that's how we knew that she wasn't. But we didn't have to come out and tell y'all then, did we? I thought I did. I'm sorry, I was confused. Claire, Kim was there. All of y'all in that conversation on that stream yard, you know what the fuck she said and what she did. Even if you want to be quiet, you don't want to say anything, that's fine. At least you could have said something to me privately. Y'all owed me that much at least. Yep. You can't backtrack on the own things that you've already said. That's what I am very, very disappointed in. 
that you were knowingly admitting the fact that you knew that she lied those weeks prior and that we were quiet because we, we wanted to keep it quiet and that the shit came out and you wanted to still be quiet about it. You knew she was lying. Y'all knew exactly what happened. Now, I'm saying this because y'all were my little YouTube friends. I respected the fuck out of you. I still do, most of you. I really do. Y'all know me. And I'm sure that really did suck for some of you because you're like, shit, Sam is such a great, you know, I respect her a lot. Why the fuck is she doing this? Y'all know that I'm not lying. That's the thing. So um, I was very disappointed when I heard people thinking that I'm fucking brainwashed. I have conversations with people that were involved in this. The entire gamut from the very beginning of that shit show when Claire couldn't show anything all of a sudden. It wouldn't show anything. All the excuses she made. And because I'm so brainwashed and I can't think for myself. No, of course I didn't say anything to her. I wasn't saying, Claire, we're trying to help you clear this shit up. This is what we need. This is what we need to do. That's how brainwashed I am. I I, I don't have a mind of my own. I can't make my own decisions. I'm the only one that said anything at the beginning. Me. The brainwashed one. So I will, you know what? Sorry, I, I'm laughing because you were the first one to speak up. That's why I'm laughing. And it's I true. said it too. I was like, I don't know why the only, I'm the only one fucking saying anything, right? She really. Why was. am I the only one? Oh, I don't get it. But you're the brainwashed. But y'all were anyway. You know what? I don't remember what my fucking point is. But my point, I think, was that y'all were in those conversations. You know exactly what happened. I feel bad that y'all made the decisions that you did, and that you didn't feel like you could contact me and at least say something to me privately because you or respected the friendship that we did have on the platform any that of much. Us. Any of us. Um, individually. Cheryl. I Alan, was. And Sarah. I understand, again, it, probably in, in, in a, in a, a very tenuous and uncomfortable position, you know, because you did know me enough to know what kind of woman I am, a character. You didn't, you would, but you wouldn't say anything to me. Um, I... I, I felt that, that I did. I was disappointed in that. But I said that before. Sorry, Sam, I just want to interrupt for a second. So Lady Lucanin's in here, and I just want to read her, her question or her comment. I don't understand. Why is Claire and Dorothy being tarred with the same brush? Claire did all the damage, didn't she? Yes, and her good friend Dorothy. I mean, Lady Lucan, you're in there as a mod for Dorothy. Do, does, do, is that really a fair question? You know exactly what's going on. Dorothy is full of fucking... Wait a minute, stuff. wait a minute. Lady Lucan, you know my... If you know that, then you know my um, history with Dorothy. From almost going back more than a year. And what happened. And how... When, how Dorothy the doesn't the fact check nothing. She's She 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 basically got whatever... Wait, she this isn't about... Email. Hold you know, on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Finish. She's this had isn't. communication with Claire through email. And Claire is feeding her the same bunch of bullshit lies that she fed us all these months ago, and Dorothy is just running with it. She's not questioning. She's not. This was after Sam and I were both on her fucking panel. She's just running yeah, with it. Claire yeah. is telling her. And you know what? Her good attorney friend that's a retired attorney that might have been qualified, that wasn't qualified, that is an attorney, but is an attorney, she's going to help her with her counterclaim. And I think Dorothy sees that as an in for the family because Claire's told her. Wait, what do you say? Wait, 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 wait. You're going to ask her to help you with your fucking copyright? Yep, Dorothy's asked her to help her with the copyright. <laughs> she actually said she's got an attorney friend. An attorney friend. Did, I don't know if that's the person I would choose. Maybe she knows what not to do now and what to do. Well, can that's I tell you what? That. That's, that, that has to do with strikes. When, when her Celtic Investigations channel got struck when we were live by Alan, <laughs> do you know who filled out and did her counterclaim that she won and got her video restored? This girl right here. Do you know what I had to do with Claire to figure out why it took so long for the counterclaim <laughs> to get forwarded? Because where it says in the counterclaim section to put your legal name, do you know what the attorney was putting? Celtic investigators, not Claire Morgan as a real name. I had to figure that out for Claire. And Claire's going to do the counterclaim for Dorothy and get that strike removed. All right. What? Okay, anyway. We got off on a tangent, didn't we? I'm sorry, y'all. But again, I'm just—I'm going to say this. To, I'm, I'm only going to be talking about this now. I don't even know if I'm going to come back on YouTube to this channel. I really don't. Um, uh, until all of my issues are handled, or at least if I can get some of my bullshit in the same shit basket, that would be good. Um, but no promises. No promises. I can't say anything. Hello. I think I lost everybody. No. Hello. No, I can hear you. I'm here. I'm here. Anyway. 
Okay. So, yeah, uh, not brainwashed, obviously. Yeah, so the I moral of the story is silly that, that, that anybody thought that or would, no. you would actually say that, that, that yeah. I was or that I am because it's like you don't know me what, at all, ever. You never knew me. Sorry, yes, um, Daniel, ridiculous. for biting the storm, Dorothy, is who we're talking about. There's only one Dorothy. What? Oh, Daniel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just asking, knows. I mean, I have no personal. Um... Yeah, it's not personal, Dorothy. It's not personal, right? At all. It really isn't. Wait a minute. Well, no. I mean, y'all, seriously, Dorothy, anybody calling me brainwashed is fucking hilarious because y'all know me. Well, uh, <laughs> Really quick, I don't think the word brainwashed was used. J Jen has the the actual. Clip, let us I think, stray. Let I us think you were led astray. Yeah, led astray was one. Led astray. Okay, okay. Led astray. Same yeah. thing. Come on. Well, I know, I know, but you know, people want to be technical. Let's be technical, okay? Well, so tapioca, that... tapioca brain really was my preferred one. <laughs> <laughs> Just so everybody knows, that's what I called them. I said, you know, you guys are you you guys are our bitches. You're like tapioca brain. We can just convince you of whatever the hell we also, want. Also, wait a minute. Yeah, see, when I was catching up with the ladies here last night, they also said something about uh, someone being in my chat in one of those live streams. They were talking about Dorothy son. We went through those chats. Nothing was said about your son, Dorothy. And you know, I of all people would never fucking allow that shit ever, especially in gratuitously being spiteful, vengeful, or ugly or hateful just because they don't like you. I, I would never allow anybody to do that. You know that. You disappointed me. Why? I wouldn't let anybody talk about anybody's child on here. God. Sorry. I don't know. Maybe y'all don't know me. Maybe y'all never knew me. Maybe that's what the problem is. Or is. And Fox. yeah, that's what I mean. Stand up just said it. it it's all been, it, this really does sum it up. It's all been such bullshit. Lie after lie after lie compounded with another lie and another lie. And not a fuck. A fucking enough. Wow. Wow. And again, the fact that, that Claire, for example, it's funny how, you know, and even I know we were laughing earlier about that Facebook post of how, you know, now suddenly her life isn't in danger because she's come to another country and she can pinpoint. It's not fucking funny at all. It fucking proves that her life was never in danger. She's been using it as a well. I, I thought it was funny, though. I'm saying that. I thought well, it, was it was. But I mean, it, it, the, the, the moral and the core of it is not funny at all. It fucking proves that she selectively, her life is selectively in danger because she can't fucking own up to the fucking bullshit lies that she told this entire community. Who knows what entire lies she's still to this day, obviously telling the family. It's lies I by omission. It all still boils down to being fucking lies. Own up for your shit, Claire. Own up. Yeah, yeah. I fucked up. Why can't you just even do that? Because you don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck yeah. about anybody. Didn't, didn't Martin yeah. have something in, in one of his videos addressing that? Yeah, he did, yeah. actually. Um, I know. I. What did he one say? His... He, he was actually referencing AD initially, and he said something, something. He doesn't like liars. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? And, and something it? about him being lied to and is still. We, we were all lied to, and it's the, 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 the Ruzik family is still being lied to. It was something along yeah. those lines. Something about those lines, yeah. Um, hang on, I know I have it saved somewhere. Give me a second. Can anybody, anybody actually tell me truthfully whether you care what I said or not? And it was specific to him getting his channel back because I knew two weeks before that that was going to happen. Two weekends before when everything happened, all of us scrambling, trying to figure out what the fuck is happening. Them all, all of a sudden being quiet. Considering why I'm here, why we're all here, you didn't want me to say that she lied about everything. About what we were actually doing? Fuck. What was the point of any of us being here? Saying that we were part of any community, whether it was truthful or not. Well, whatever she did, she certainly cemented the fact that AD is not going to be taken down at all. She certainly cemented that fact. That's the one thing she did do. Thanks, Claire. I want to know why, if Kim ever asked her why she, uh, why, why the why Google the apparently like dropped the case that, the case that y'all had going, Google grannies, what, 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 what happened, Kim? Why, why did the uh, case get shut down? And if that was, you know, she y'all are in contact with Google, you know, let's fast forward to the shit show over here with whatever legal 
uh, proceedings that might be taking place. That is, a, yeah. they, you would think that they would have already known about AB, right? Yeah, or all the shit because they all went to Google. They all already went to. Google. And what 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 did Claire tell you about why her direct contact with that Google whatever second tier Amy, I think her name was. Uh, yeah. Why did Amy shut that down? What happened to that investigation? I would like to know what her answer was to that, Kim. And I'm asking you as a person. I, you and I, we go so far back. Um. That. I mean, that's just, and what did she tell Susie? I don't think she told Susie anything. That that was said earlier. Oh, yeah, she didn't. Okay. okay. Is she never even well, told Well, yeah, 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 so oh, no, her, yeah. No, might... no, but Susie is actually still waiting to hear from the lady from Dr. Oz, Dr. Oz. About, about those airline tickets oh. for, for yeah. the to be flown to New York the first part of December. I guess you missed that. Yeah. I don't um, think I don't think everybody else knows about that though. The rest of everybody else. Uh, knows well, it. I think I think I think um uh Susie said on Bam Flight, but I'll just say it again. So Claire had told us in our group that um she just got off the phone with a producer from Dr. Oz and she wants to fly the the three of them out to uh, New York, and this was a couple months ago, uh, to New York, the first part of December, blah, blah, blah. So, of course, stand-up was like, what? And uh, she tried several times, like, does the lady want my information? I mean, how is she going to get an airplane ticket for me if she doesn't know my name, doesn't have my information? Blah, blah. Claire kept, kept saying, telling her, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I forgot to call her. Oh, I forgot to message, uh, mention that when I talked to her. Yes, yes, yes. And then this whole shitstorm blew up, and she just well, let's missed. not forget about all the uh, misinformation and and telephone number information. Well, yeah, I mean, all of that was. I mean, that's just getting into the weeds of it. But the high yeah, level right. of it is, yeah, the high level of it is. I mean, and and when I say getting into the weeds of it, it's there was a whole bunch of lies that were said along the way, and we kept catching them. Like, what the fuck does this mean? What does this mean? But the high level is, is Susie technically is still waiting to hear about going to New York three weeks ago. So, you know, so she doesn't know if she's going to get that Christmas makeover is what you're saying. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <still> <laughs> you are not the father. Oh, wait, that's Maury. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. And, and again, if anybody can talk about this shit and do so in at least in a, in a somewhat comical, humorous way, it's me. But the last thing that I no, I, I, I don't want to say I expected that that after this amount of time, anybody would say anything about any of this stuff anymore, especially if y'all didn't actually hear from any of the people um, that now what? Why? 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 Brainwash, showing people's conversations, whatever. Decontextualized. And um, that's just that's just shit. That's low. That's low. Can I just say something again really quick, but I have to, I have to leave, walk away for a minute. But, um, so Paul says, um, or Polly says, I'm amazed Claire has walked away without any explanation. Okay. Again, I, I need to address this because I've heard this so many times out of Dorothy's fucking mm. mouth that Claire what? left because she was being pressured by her friends to show documentation, blah, 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 blah. Dorothy, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You know That's what? Get that. Gonna get, I'm going to pull this up. Was, We're going to do this. Yeah, We're going to fucking do this then. Huh? If y'all want to, we will. I'm going to because I deserve closure to this because I guarantee fucking to you, I ain't coming back up here and talking about this shit again. If well, you want to talk about yeah, it publicly yeah, or privately, we can. But I've been gone for the last couple of weeks and under really bad fucking circumstances. And that y'all are still perpetuating the idea that she's quiet because she had to fucking be quiet is ridiculous and you know it. And I have no reason to lie about it. And I got proof. So we're going to see the proof. Let's do it before we go any further. That way you can have something to talk about. It's early. Yes, well. Can you pull up that one if I send it to you? I'll show you. Who are you talking she to? She was. Hey, really quick. I just got to jump down and go take care of something. I'll be back in a little bit, but I'll be listening. Bullshit. You got a date. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> well, you've been, you've been gone. You Get know? off my panel. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Maybe we shouldn't. Lizzie's up here. Let's hear from Lizzie. I'm sorry, Lizzie. I gotta go be quiet because but but I am listening. Okay, hang on. Sorry, just before you two. What do you what do you need me to do, Sam? Because apparently Money Penny just fucking quit. I'm not getting paid for this, but I gotta try and look good for a new gig. So (laughs) what do you need? What did you you said? Can you play this for me? I don't know. First, I need a new talent manager. I'm still looking for one. Um, (laughs) I need that. Lizzie, do you have any advice? Can you help me? I'm just here to pass around the ice cream and the hot dogs in the interval. <laughs> mm, 
Mm. Ice cream and hot dogs? What the hell? Well, you know that little lady that walks up and down with the tray? With ice cream <laughs> and hot dogs? I don't know that lady. So people, you know, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> concessions. And, and people. Bitches. She comes out in the interval and passes out little tubs of ice cream and stuff. Oh, That's yeah. me. That's all I can put into That's this you? conversation. Are we at bingo? Is you? that where we are? Are we at the bingo hall? Is that the no, we're at the cinema? <laughs> how have you been, sweetheart? I haven't. I haven't. Um, how have you been, Lizzie? Oh, I, I, I'm just absolutely fine. Just oh. really, really fine. How is your? Sad. I hope you're enjoying your holiday season. I hope you're enjoying well, sad season. because I won't be going to my daughter's again this Christmas. But um, oh, I'm going to do the um, Christmas morning live, which I did mm -hmm. last year. Uh, it's a toast. Oh, yeah. it's, um, every year uh, at ten o'clock in the morning, I toast. We've always toasted the family that's not with us my brother and mm -hmm. and uh, mum and dad and everything and uh, I had a live last year and Nuff Nuff was there I and, remember uh, yeah and I can't believe it's going to be this year Christmas morning so Tam my daughter mm -hmm. said she'll be there I'm looking um, forward to that yeah if I'm I didn't invited recognize her. I, she came on last year I didn't even know and Shirley knew but she didn't tell me because she she came in not under her name she made a name up back in when she was a teenager, um, girly gun show. <laughs> so uh -huh. I didn't even know she was there. But anyway, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I hope Nuff Nuff can join us again. And also, she said she was she did a a Christmas Eve live last year. Are you going to do one oh, again this year, Nuff Nuff? I thought she said she was. Oh, is she right? I thought I said I thought I wait. I I I thought I heard somebody saying. Um, that they were thinking about doing one if they thought that people would watch. Yeah, well, last year, I think, uh, oh, she said yes. Good. Now I know what but, I'm doing Christmas I think that Eve. was not enough that said that. I could yeah, be wrong. Yeah. Am I invited? Am I no, invited? not if you're going to be there. I'm not going. I'm not asking you if you're going. I'm asking if I'm invited. You know what? Fuck off, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> and Jen's going to be on mine Christmas morning if she can wake up. Oh, honey, I told you I'm going to set alarm. Actually, you know what? I uh, My dad came by today and we had our our uh, every couple week parking lot discussion. And um, I was pretty upset the other night because, as I said, our that Omnicrome thing, I can't get I can't even find out when I'm going to be able to get my booster until Monday. Long story short, it was looking like I wasn't going to be able to go to my parents for Christmas. But we've decided I've been really good. Like I've had nobody in my apartment since this whole bullshit started. My parents are getting mm -hmm. their booster on December 24th, so I am going to go over for the afternoon. So I do get to spend Christmas, but my dad's not picking me up till 2. So I'm going to set an oh, alarm for the toast. That's good, so, though. That's good. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just afraid, though, Lizzie, because you know good old Doug Ford there. He's probably going to change everything between now and then. That the What is it now? The limit of 10 is going to turn into a limit of 2. I mean, it just... You know, my dad, though, he's kind of funny because I said to him, like, my, my everybody, my parents are, are far from young, my... My dad's in his 80s. My my mom is very close to 80. And I mean, they're as as much as they can be are in, are in good health. But still, I know they're not going to be around forever. And I said to my dad, I'm an only kid. So it's just I know it's only been my parents in their house. It's only been me in my apartment. But I'm just afraid if I went over and one of them got sick, I would never forgive myself. And my dad today, when I said that to him again, I mean, I've said it a few times, but it's always been to my mom. <clears throat> and when I said it to my dad today, I'm sitting in the car. We both have our masks on. He's like, yeah, but Jen, he goes, it could go the other way. We could get you sick. And I'm like, you're actually right. I never <laughs> thought about it like that. So that was when we pretty much cemented, yeah, I'm going over. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I made the choice myself before he'd even put anything into place. I just figured that's what what's going to happen. Because yeah. apparently... Um, the Dutch have got um, mm. a, a lockdown now, and Tam actually has visitors from Holland. Um, mm -hmm. So, <laughs> wonder if they'll get back. But um, no, I decided that uh, it's best to be on the safe side. I mean, my friends. Well, for me, it would have been the second year in a row that I haven't seen my parents. Yeah. Because, yeah, it'll be March. So, I didn't see them last year, obviously. So, I'm like, you know, and as I said, they're not young. And it's one of those, I'm also at the same time thinking, Okay, I, I'm trying to be proactive now, but I mean, you never know when something can happen, and I don't mean that to be negative. It's it's the reality, right? So what yeah. what if I don't have the opportunity to see them another Christmas when there is no you know sort of restrictions? So yeah, it was it was 
I'm, I'm just, I'm glad I'm going to see them. Yeah. Well, yes. it's, you know, it's the same with me. I, you know, I'm 71, planning on another 20 years. No, At least. Another, another 25 years. There we go. That's but we just never know, do we? Nope. And uh, oh. I've got so much in my life that I, I, I've got to sort out with them. And, and that's why I've got that other happy channel that I've got. So I'm going to be doing some stuff on there and um, get. Well, you just never know. But I could step out. You tomorrow. showing? Are you showing? Uh, are you showing people's nude pics or what? What, what? what happy channel are you talking about? Oh, I've got a channel, Life in the Key of Happy. It's got about I don't know. I, I think know. it got up to 15 subscribers. Lani was I one. <laughs> I was being an um, asshole. I'm sorry. Oh, why? Why are you saying? Huh? What are you saying? I said that? I was being an asshole. I said, is that the channel that you, you show your nudes on? Is that why it's a happy channel? Oh, no. <laughs> oh listen, I've, I've been uh, what, passing around. What would that channel be? Her blow-up doll coming out of her closet every 10 minutes? <laughs> no, that's you were there when I sent my blow-up sheet, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you just say blow-up sheep? Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah, that's... Uh, I, I, I posted oh, that I missed this week. That. Oh, my dear. I totally missed that. And also a bunch of penises that I made. <laughs> um, Lizzie, did I ever tell you, speaking of penises, did I ever tell you about the year and the only year that I think it was like 1996 where our gay pride parade, this was when I was working for, uh, it was a gay bar, but it was very much a fag bar. And we were allowed, our gay pride parade was allowed to go up in front of Parliament Hill like hmm. right in front of the parliament buildings and it was the year we decided to have an 11 foot blow up piece on our fucking float that was the last year that the pride parade for ottawa was ever allowed to go in front of fucking the parliament <laughs> building i'll have to find a picture of that oh my god i forgot about that until i something just triggered my my brain right now <laughs> well Anyway, yeah, I've I've got so many stories that I want to tell and remember and stuff like that. You know my silly stories. So, oh look at that! Carrie's even put the link up. And don't even go there yet. We, There's nothing in we there. We love your silly stories. I just love them. Absolutely, well, Shirley I'll do. Show, she found that Shirley Show clip when she was on it. Oh right, yeah. Uh. <laughs> I was on there because. Um, I, I'd phoned to, to book an appointment. It was like... A, Shirley is like the kind of... Well, basically, it's the only talk show we have in Canada, but it was like the biggest talk show in Canada at the time, but it was also the only talk show we had. Yeah, and I wanted to get a seat, so I called them and asked them, and they, I said, what's the topic? And she said, well, it's would you tell your best friend your her husband was having an affair? And I said, well, it was my best friend that was having the affair with him. So they they wanted me on the show, but of course my friend wouldn't go. I don't know why. <laughs> so yeah. they put me in the key audience. <clears throat> With so, the mullet. Uh, yeah, mullet and all. <laughs> I've seen the mullet. It, it really does exist, guys. Yeah, yeah, I know. I went through a few years with a mullet. So, yeah, I've been finding, I've been going through all my VHS tapes and I've been finding all these crazy videos. So, yeah. So all that kind of uh, stuff I want to put together because I don't <clears> write, write a book and I'm I'm not going to get to write a book. So apart from on here when I tell me stories, what do you mean you know, you're not going to get to write a book? If they can, can you hold those book, stories why can't real you quick? Write a book? Can you hold those? I just got off the I'm I'm talking to Money Benny privately and it's true I did ask those that ghosted me and fucking dropped my my ass like a hot fucking potato. But if they wanted to come over here, I wish they would. And I'm going to go ahead, and it, because it is getting late in the UK for all the UK people. I'm going to go ahead and put up what I want to put up so y'all can see exactly, or you're going to hear me. As everything was happening, I'm playing them now. We're well, going to do it hang right on, now. Hang on. I wanted, I, first of all, I want to show that one. I've got that one there, the initial one with Claire, proving that she's actually not a fucking solicitor. solicitor. Oh, I'm talking about my shit, though. Huh? Yeah, no, I know. I said I've got. I've, yeah, because I'm, if I say I have proof, y'all know I do, and I wouldn't say something unless I knew that I was. You know, I, I'm. Come on, I'm an honest fucking person. Has everybody got their ice creams and hot dogs now, so we can continue? Yeah, this so. is the time to grab it. Grab a fucking In, drink. Interval grab a is over. Or your eggnog. Get your get your out. Get your whiskey now, folks. Might want to make. Let's it make strong. that eggnog. Make let's make the eggnog. Um, 
rated R, basically. Let's go. Right <laughs> okay. Interval over. I'm going to go and sit in the corner. I'm doing it. I'm going to freaking do it. Love you, Lizzie. Show Hang on there. Before Lizzie. you go into your thing, though, I want to, this is what we started. We wanted to show Claire showing her documentation of being Claire Morgan, where Cohen Davis. Uh, oh, well, yeah, that's what I told her. You knew this was going to happen. Don't, God what? damn. It was just so fucking ridiculous. Because we know you didn't give anybody anything proven shit because you don't have it. <laughs> yeah. And then like we've said from the beginning, we never, we never, Two ever, days. ever, ever, ever said that you were not verified by Cohen Davis. What we said was you were verified by Cohen Davis as Claire Morgan only. And this, what you yeah. guys are going to see is Claire herself. Showing and yeah, I'm doing this shit because I am a salty fucking bitch right now. I don't give a fuck. Let's yeah, show. This, Let's do it. What, you got it going? It's well, no, I'm waiting for it to finish. Oh, there we go. It's just processing. So what you're gonna? Yes, see I will protect other people's privacy and everything. That if I show anything, it's all of y'all over there have seen it already. Involved in my chats, every single one of y'all are my goddamn mods, or you were, and that's why we're speaking about this shit. And again, you I have just want. I want to get it out there. This is going to be Claire's very own words proving that Cohen Davis verified her. Not as a solicitor. Not as maybe a... Don't say uh, anything. You're giving it away. Damn, now they don't have to lie. They know the ending oh, already. Damn. You blew it. I fucking suck. Fucking you better Man, continue on you your job you, hunting. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Jen can't freak <laughs> Fuck. All right. Let's... Okay. So, Uno shares. Get your shit together. Trying, baby. I'm trying. You Those of you that were in this conversation two days before all this shit started flying. That's why. Well, it's you that needs to get your shit together now. Uh, so fuck that. Just keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I know. All right. Look at that. If we are looking, oh, we are no. my my address and my passport and everything where they. Where they um, where they checked me out. Oh my gosh! Guys aren't able to hear that, are you? I heard something. Did you? All right, let me go back. Are, you, are it's only a minute clip? Are you showing the whole thing? Well, Everything's already you. redacted. Well, I'm just, I'm not hearing it when I play it. Just keep going. Going. Look at that. That's my group address and my passport and everything where they, where they, um, where they check me out to prove my words. Oh, they even added me to this. They wouldn't. They didn't. Yeah, so the letter of authority from Frankie saying that I that he did not have enough evidence for me to for me to be involved in the case. Yeah, and um, and they they went to all my. They did a police check, which obviously did not have anything to do with the police check. They had like said, proof of my address, utility bill. Uh, photo on my passport. Now, mind you, this is a utility bill. All this stuff is in the name of Claire Morgan. How many times did we hear Claire say that nobody can verify that she was an attorney because she was an attorney under her married name or maiden name? That's not the point. Well, it's kind of part of the point. Finish it. <laughs> Hang on, I, hang on, I you two have talked, I don't know. Yeah, no, and I, I for sure don't, because the solicitors have only just done a police check on me. I'm as clean as a whistle. Not even a parking ticket. Not even a parking ticket is Claire Morgan. You didn't give him shit. You didn't have it. 
That's the case. That's the fact. Everything that that was being shown, yeah, I want y'all to know that was the case manager from the law firm and the legal team that are working for Mr. Frank Bruce Jr. Is that not a bit of a confidentiality okay? breach? That everything you're people that fucking dashboard of the lawyers. Everything that she gave them to verify, every single correspondence, everything handed, you know, uh, let's say uh, technically, you know, uh, emails, phone calls, every message on the legal team, everything, everything that is in there is in what she showed. The very first things were what she gave the lawyer to verify who she is. A and utility bill. It. Let's sue people. Okay. Come on. I don't think her utility bills And you are fucking knew her. it, too. And we didn't say anything. We didn't say anything. Until we could not say anything anymore. And this so, is why, if anybody has ever looked at the, any of the wording Frankie has used or people have used, yeah, absolutely, Cohen. And I have said this from the beginning. I never denied that Cohen Davis verified who Claire Morgan was. She her Yeah, son, she gave him her utility bill to, in proof of address. And they did a background check. No yep, credentials. He never had to give anybody anything. The fact of the matter is, is that this was shown to me and to us and the people in that stream yard. 48 hours. Within 48 hours of um, everybody getting these cease and desist and all the shit coming down. Okay? Where I, I, didn't, I wasn't there for that part. I saw it later on. I thought, God damn. And there was other stuff in that stream. And I, and I said this before on my other live streams. I said it to y'all. I said it to y'all. Y'all were in these chats. You were in these groups. You were on those panels. You know what you said. You know what you show, showed. So within 48 hours, all of a sudden, she disappears and she has to be quiet. Because she's in She couldn't show life. us an email on her studio. She couldn't pull up her studio to show us a co one of the uh, copyright strikes and what it was on, how it was progressing. Because now she can't show us anything. But within 48 hours, she was showing us that shit. Oh, no. Which she, she shouldn't have, of course. She I admit that. Us. She could show us emails of copyright progression. She could have shown us anything. Cold. She showed us everything. Cold. And you want to tell me that she can't show us shit because well, she, no. Yeah, she can't. No, no, she offered to show us anything we wanted to see. And when I spoke oh, she did. Said, that's I right. See the IPO, the IPO documents that you sent to YouTube. That's also that was when it was the fucking end. She couldn't find yeah. it all of a sudden. Claire, it's going to be in your sent item. It would be the document nope. that would apply to every fucking single one of those strikes. Because you so you want to tell me that you you oh I oh show us your credentials and that as my friend or as your friend I'm a bad friend for asking her that I never fucking asked her for anything other than the fact that the copyright strikes I knew were going to fall off because she was lying about everything okay and uh, I apologize and I'm sorry I'm sorry again for saying anything there are times when I shouldn't. Be quiet, but I am for the sake of peace and harmony in my little YouTube world. But fuck off with that. To think, to think that the people that were in these conversations couldn't reference back to the shit that they were saying just days prior? You gave them your utility bill. That's all you had. That's all they needed to do a background check. And let me say, again, and, and if you gave them anything, if they verified anything, if any correspondence that would have been in that fucking file, the very first things were your background check and 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 uh, a legal document it. thing. You could tell her. You so don't say that mouth. the lawyers saw what they needed to see. And if y'all want to say heard. this, hey, you know what? I don't care. You would have heard from Claire's mouth herself. Here's how whatever. You whatever told you. you would use that I qualify. This is right. No, you saw her. What was it? Driver's license or passport, a utility bill and whatever. Under Claire Morgan. Remember so everybody. if this is remember, not, I need power. I, people understand. I have to. I, I have remember to believe Morgan. that the people that listen to us are pretty smart, and y'all can put two and two together. All right, it, it, it's not rocket science or rocket appliances. If you're AD, it's simple. Okay, we never, very simple. Ever, ever doubted. She Within a few hours of this, Davis. she was telling us, "What do you need? What What do you want me to show you?" The only thing I have a copy of is my CREs because they they were sent to me. That's all I have to prove that I was a lawyer. That's what she said less than 48 hours later. Well, there so, was also at some point. Sandra, and she also said that the lawyers had it, obviously. Of course no, no, the Canada know. Customs. Canada Customs had it. Yeah, immigration. Document. Yeah. Immigration. Yeah. Um, because you would give all yeah. your original paperwork to Canada Customs and not keep a copy for yourself at all in Fuck any way, that. shape, or form, whether it's electronically, physically. Come on, Claire. Fuck off. Yeah, I'm upset. Now I am. I'm just I'm thinking back to all the fuckery that that, that ensued that y'all couldn't at least respect my friendship with y'all enough to have said something.
Do you have that other one? Which one? I want to. If it, I think it's number one, I'm gonna. I send it to you. If you can uh, play it. The, the one you. Yes, sent I'm you. fucking playing it. The one that you sent. These to are me. my words. These are the my comments. You. It's me. Yeah. Me. Okay. Give me a second. There. I'm telling people. Oh my god, you shouldn't show private shit. It's my mods. Everybody involved in my channel. Well, you know what? Yeah, I we can shouldn't show anything. I can say anything. Suck my ass out if you think that I should have been quiet well, because well, it would upset know, the little YouTube. Huh? You know, to be to be Sorry. very honest, I I am I am all against showing shit privately. First of all, the whole it, this started with the screenshot shit. It got all fucking quiet. This well, is about yes, yeah, you know what? Up. No, 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 because these are only about the copyright. It's not private shit. Yeah, it's no, about no. how she couldn't prove nothing because she lied about everything. No, but, you get Dorothy up there on her fucking goddamn fake high horse saying screenshots can be altered. They shouldn't be shown. They shouldn't be this. And what, oh, is shit. Dorothy, what does Dorothy do? Show screenshots that Claire has sent her. Dorothy, I her. loved you. I loved you once. I still love you even though you got, you got a little crazy. But fuck you for saying I'm brainwashed. Are you fucking serious? Fuck. Brainwashed. God. Like I'm Jim Jones over here. I can't believe I'm able to 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 get naked and jump into the shower. Well, you know, now, I wanna, because actually, I can't make decisions. I, one thing I also want to kind of point out too, and I really am going to feel very uncomfortable saying this, but you know what, Claire, it was you that brought it up first. I'd like to know, what? and this is gonna, you know what? I don't give a fuck if people fucking hate me after saying this, but I'm fucking saying it, Claire. Why is it there was never any any single word utterance, breath that came out of your mouth about domestic violence in your case? And how horrible it was until you had to fucking get the fuck off YouTube and disappear because you couldn't explain yourself. Then all of a sudden this domestic violence became front and center of, so are you in life? Are you in fear from your danger because of domestic violence or are you in fear of your life because of Alan? Which one is it? Because it's been both. Wow. Wow. You know, that's it's true. I've n I never heard her say anything about that until I asked her to come on my live stream when we were going to talk about the copyrights and why AD got his uh, got his channel back and, and tell you what happened. She said that she didn't want to come out and talk about her abuse because if she came out and told if she said anything about the copyright, she would have to use her, her full name. And she doesn't want to put her full name out there and, and her 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 uh, abusive ex-partner and y'all know exactly my situation and my position on this and i also exactly. remember this out of my ass right now dorothy i remember being up on your channel when um y'all were talking and showing that stuff about kelly and she was making the video about going to court and how she said that the judge called her a whore y'all were very strong on your position about a woman using um that as an excuse or a lie so i know how y'all feel about it you made it very clear why would you use that as an excuse uh, or, and how could you lie about something like that? I'm not suggesting that Claire lies about anything, especially when it comes to domestic violence. And I'm, yeah, exactly. I don't want to try to minimize. She's never said anything to me about it ever until I asked her to come on. That was the last excuse she gave me. That's the last excuse I heard from her ass. I wasn't going to hear anymore. Too, and I did actually. it because I respected like last, her enough to do so. One of the last email communications I got from her was that. Her ex pretty much tried to kill her son for fuck's sake, Jen. That was literally the email. I don't get it. Why are you giving anybody any information of what put out to be dramatic or ugly or just to have something to talk about? What the fuck? We would have done that already, fuck, if that was the case. Seriously, oh, guys. Seriously. That would have been done and dusted a long fucking time ago if that was the fucking sole purpose. Think about it. Think about it. I don't know. I think that I, I, I'm trying to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm pulling off the band-aid real quick, folks. That's what I'm doing because it's the last thing I do on YouTube. That's what I'm going to fucking do on this island. Before I get off this rock, I'm going to tell you my shit, which I've already said most of it. I mean, not my fault that y'all didn't hear me or y'all weren't listening and you didn't read my messages, okay? Um, it's fucked up. And, it, and when you know that people are actually going into the comment section or walking and then they're lying on behalf of somebody else or even if you're just quiet so by your by your silence you're you're perpetuating allowing somebody to continue deceit being a truth the channel fuck off and i say that lovingly fuck off we believed her i actually say that 
without any thought, we believed everything. Well, for me, sorry, I should. But then we go back, right? Every when I was watching, that everything was. she what said, the fuck? The get-go, I fucking believed. I just, I implicitly gave her full fucking carte blanche. I went, I believe everything you fucking say. I never questioned her. Never, as you guys yeah. know, I was the last one to go. This can't be fucking true. Never once she got fucking carte blanche and everybody just believed everything she said for what she said. That's what it was. It's true. Yeah. All of us did that. Yeah. I mean, at this point, I think we all really did. Everything I, she well, said of course, we had no reason not to. Well, exactly. And you know, that's what I actually said in that conversation. You know, we had no reason not to believe her. We all believed her. We thought she because we thought she was being honest. So um yeah, let's go ahead and show on. Let's yeah, play give me one, one more second. I've got the I appreciate it. Um Go. Uno momento, <clears throat> Christmas bills, Christmas bills piled on the floor every day. The I night. meant to tell, I was going to tell y'all this last night in the private stream, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say this now to let y'all know just as far as my personal issues and health concerns. One of the things that happened recently, and it was, you know, I was asleep. Everybody knows basically what's happening with me um, and my ability, obviously, uh, to swallow and, and, and eat, drink, anything else like that. I was asleep and I asked for because, um, you know, I have difficulty swallowing and I use a numbing spray. But anyway, I, I, I was choking. I was choking. And it, of course, you panic. I never realized how much that burns when you aspirate. Um, that was bad. It was, it was actually the night of Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving Day. Um, scared me. All right. I, I felt like for one second thought I was going to just pass out and die. I thought this is how I'm, this is how I'm gonna go. Wow. So yeah, that happened. Good times, kids, right? But it the does. Best. It burns. Okay, so this is um. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna well, set the scene here, people. I wouldn't set the scene. I'm busy getting my shit together here. So I'm no, gonna... set the scene. I'm gonna set the scene. No, no, I know. Okay. I was just gonna say I'm gonna. I'll start playing it. I'm just playing it through my tab. I have it downloaded. I'm not. So I'm not pulling it up yet. I'm not gonna put put. I'm not gonna put it to the screen yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You set the scene. This is girl. me. This is me. These are my voice clips. This is me. The weekend that we got the uh, cease and desist. All right. The weekend when all the shit was flying. And Claire was bouncing from one place to the next. Covering well, to be fair, too, let's let's remind everybody. Claire got the cease and desist. We never even checked and, and knew we had any. That's my and point now. The point being that this is me. You know exactly. Okay, this is the weekend when everybody was questioning whatever. I've already said why her stuff was being questioned. It was never about her credentials. I didn't care at that point. By that time, if she was a fucking woman or not. I couldn't care less. But we knew. I knew. And she was lying about the um, the copyright strike. And two days before this, she was pulling up uh, Young Rusek Jr.'s uh, case management system from the law firm, um, showing us that, like the donations from the legal fund. She was showing us, playing voicemails that people were leaving for the lawyers. She pulled up what her quote unquote credentials were. So when I'm saying, how is it that you can't show us anything now when you've shown us everything already? Because I knew that she didn't have it. And the things that I was saying, you're going to hear. All right. So um, let's pull it up. <clears throat> this is your YouTube life. Salty style. It's time to put up or shut up as far as I'm concerned. If he's got something, show it. Or you show it, okay? I'm tired of being dragged. I'm getting messages from people saying that you're not who you are. I Claire. lost the audio. And Shown anything show, saying that you're a Did lawyer. It? Never shown anything. I have no sound. I'm on the record here. It's time to put up or shut up as far as I'm concerned. He's I'm going to switch. Show it I'll be right back. It, okay? Don't play I'm anything. Until I get back, back. I want to make sure that my voice is okay. Not who you are, Claire, Claire, then. Look. All right. I just paused it because I don't even know if there was audio playing out for you guys. I just have to pull the chat up here real quick. <laughs> so could you guys hear the audio at all is it just sam can you hear me now can you all hear me can you all hear me i can hear you okay all right so let me try this again tell me if you can hear it or not I'm 
something on the record here. It's time to put up or shut up as far as I'm concerned. If he's got something, show it. Or you show it, okay? I'm tired of being dragged. I'm getting messages from people saying that you're not who you are, Claire. That you've never shown anything show, saying that you're a lawyer. Never shown anything that I'm anything either. But I'm fucking tired of this shit. Waking up right now with everything else going on. People talking about cease and desist. Going to court. Doing that. Doing this. I have no fucking clue what's happening. I asked you a question the other day, and you never even answered me, Claire. I know I'm sounding salty right now. I haven't even gotten up off of my fucking planner that I've been sleeping on for the past fucking year and a half, and I, I'm dealing with this shit. So either I'm fully invested, or this is just, you know, at the point where I'm just going to go right now, restream my fucking live last night, and tell him to fucking suck my cock, and I'll be back when he goes to court. Claire, this isn't funny. This isn't amusing, whether it's valid or not. I don't think people are grasping the, the full totality of the, uh, of the bullshit here. I don't think it's funny. I'm not putting any fucking laughing emojis down. Come on. Okay, I mean, I'm around. I haven't checked any other chats. I haven't even looked at Facebook barely. That, that's, this chair. is a Saturday morning. Is that Saturday morning? It's being Saturday. What's going around? The other stuff is Friday. have to you don't have to pause it do you come on shit i had to unmute myself i was just what nobody just heard it i was just gonna say can you just explain now we have a difference of days but you did that and i was muted yeah so anyways I'm gonna it's, it's over the course of a weekend how this played out with me and claire and what you'll see from friday to fucking sunday by the time she was fucking gone she bounced she dipped and you're gonna see why and who she did it to was me and what i was saying we to her i have no issue again. we need to have it and why is it taking this long i don't get it our priority is we need to get this shit straightened out. Claire, has she, have you responded to anybody, Claire? I'll be standing by until we have the fucking stream yard and we get it going. Come on. And I'm going to tell you, I hate telling you this, Claire, but I'm really starting to feel a certain fucking way, all right? Yesterday, it's been 24 straight fucking hours with me having to deal with this shit, wondering if anything that you did um, has any... Uh, basis of validity. I'm not even thinking about that long. Sorry, guys. I just want to stop that and I just want to go back. That just proves what I was just saying uh, about her saying that her ship was with Canada Customs. What do you want me to show? I've gone over this till I'm blue in the face. My qualifications are with Canada Immigration and Mississauga. Now, these would be the same qualifications, Claire, that you sent to Cohen Davis, who verified you as an attorney. Is that the same uh, qualifications? Just wanted to point that out. It um, has any uh, basis of validity. I'm not even thinking about that lawsuit. I'm talking about the fucking strikes. We need to know exactly what you've sent, what, you, what you've received. We need the attachments. There's no reason why you could not have given because us Because he didn't right have now. it. Pause it. This so is why I'm asking sleep. this. And you, you you're going to understand. Phone call. Um, yeah, I'm mad. Can you just pause that for me, please? And I'm sure we can go back a couple of seconds. Remember, I am talking to her and these are the excuses that she's giving me. And she shows us everything. I mean, just within days, we were on the case management system and we were hearing the phone calls that people of like 80 subs were leaving. That's the kind of stuff that she was showing us, all right? And that she was pulling as evidence. So this is not anything that I should, I was only asking her for the copyright stuff, stuff that she said that she had already shown us. And in retrospect, she did, but she didn't by omission. She had no problem showing, but I'm asking her for this very specifically because I know it doesn't fucking exist. Well, yeah, so I don't know, know what point. At that time, I knew it. I knew there were issues, and and you're hearing it. You're you're gonna. See. <laughs> it 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 got yeah okay. Yeah, I don't know what part of I'll show you anything, and I know I specifically said to her, show me the IPO documents that you sent to YouTube. Well, I can't find them right now after spending 10 or 15 minutes pretending to look for them. I can't find them. I don't know where they are. And then I didn't hear from her again. Yeah, go back. Can you go back to yeah. where I, yeah, just go back a little bit. So I already did go back. I already okay, did then go back. play. Play it, play it, play it, play it. I'm going to give me play it. Let's get it done. With me, having to deal with this shit, wondering if anything that you did um, has any uh, basis of validity, I'm not even thinking about that lawsuit. I'm talking about the fucking strikes. We need to know exactly what you've sent, what, you, what you've received. We need the attachments. There's no reason why you could not have given us that by now. 
You said you're going to sleep. You said you're freaking on a phone call. And now I'm mad. You can hear it. I'm trying to stay chill. I really fucking am. But there's no reason why none of us, even if you just send it with one fucking person, I mean, I'm not talking screenshots. I mean, the emails that you got, that's imperative. All right. That's what we need. I'm thinking right now, his strikes are about to drop off and everything will have been for nothing. And then people are going to find out some shit and it's going to make us look bad. Fucking send it. I don't know why I'm the only fucking one saying anything, but it's true. You could have sent that shit last night. I don't know why you said you were going to sleep or you just disappeared, Claire. That's really fucked up, I'll tell you. Because even though we were all hit with those cease and desist, we know they're all bullshit. You would think that the fucking lawyer would be there, considering everything we've been doing for the last two years up to this fucking point. Give me a fucking break. Some are in preaching them are in a different fucking hemisphere. So they're they're really going to come Monday morning and be fucked, I have a feeling, and that... that this is just fucked up, man. This is fucked up. Are you kidding me, Claire? Scrambling? Anything? You don't know what I'm thinking? I'm making it. Sorry, I need to pause that for a second and just go right back to that. Am I brainwashed? Yeah, now you're being right brainwashed. Yeah, tell me. Absolutely. Oops. This is Claire right here. But regardless, she's trying to fucking still feed us bullshit that the stripes are valid. Yeah, the stripes are valid, but they will stand because you use you, YouTube isn't a court of law. Claire, what you I needed to provide, done. what you needed to provide to YouTube was that you were taking him to a court of law. Just wanted to get that out there. Are you kidding me, Claire? Scrambling anything? You don't know what I'm thinking? I'm making it clear. This is not a difficult thing for you to share when all the shit started flying yesterday and you said that you were going to sleep. I mean, you could have sent anything to any one of us. I've been waiting here for two hours and 24 minutes for you to, to be available. God damn, you've had this amount of time to get something. Send it to somebody. There's no fucking way. That Mr. Rusek is saying that pause, he's pause, pause. him now anyway. Are you fucking We were waiting for her to have this private stream yard. Tell you something. Which, of course, happened all the time up to that point, right? Oh, at the drop she of a hat, they happened excuses. all But anyway, the, yeah, we were waiting for the stream yard. And if you read my comments, that's exactly because I was like, what the fuck are we doing? Why, you know, we're risking time here, kids. Come on. So by this time, got into the stream yard. And that's when, it, you know, you saw the screen went black. What happened in it, this, you know, was my reaction. And y'all would have had the same one. So I apologize if you want to go back. Yeah, I did go back. I did Fucking go back. retract. Yeah, you wanted him to retract, though, I'm sure, Claire. You wanted him to because you knew you were getting busted. Yeah. And you know what? I said this to you guys. I said this to Cheryl and you last night. And I still stand by it. Claire, if you'd really been smart about this, you would have just retracted the strikes on your own and you probably would have gotten away with blaming YouTube on all this. We didn't want to go through it. If you had just actually retracted the strikes, but whatever fucking you were trying to pull to think you were going to get away with Let's it. Let's finish it. You busted yourself. So here she is asking, what can I give you? What can I do? She didn't want to give me shit because she didn't have it. Or so me. I hope y'all catch that part. I mean, I, I, if you come back and listen to this or whatever again, I hope you understand. That there wasn't anything that I was asking, wasn't asking to see that I hadn't seen before. And again, you she weren't has no problem showing anybody anything. But you weren't I asking said, for care. lawyer credentials. You weren't asking. No, that. I was asking. For, yeah, the strike. The strike. The strike. Straight up about the strikes. Exactly. And everybody in this community had a vested interest in that. When you sat up on every panel that you could, Claire, talking about how you got this many strikes on and blah, 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 for weeks. So here are the shitfall that comes right down to it. So I guess when she was and this was her response panels, when she was on panel after panel after panel laughing at AD because she struck him, her life wasn't in danger then. Oh, that's, I don't fucking care about that now. What I care about is the fact that you know, just by this right here, I hope nobody will, you fuck off saying I'm brainwashed again and and thinking that I'm doing this shit out of spite or she hurt my feelings because she wouldn't show me her credentials or something in a fucking Oops. case management system. Fuck off with that. I'm a fucking sensitive person, and the last thing I, that I would be sensitive about is Claire not showing me her fucking so-called retired solicitor, just qualified solicitor credentials. Nothing I wasn't exactly, you know, asking her for something wasn't anything that I hadn't asked her for, and she had shown me privately. But she couldn't do it in this specific circumstance because it didn't exist. Exactly. I hope I am making myself very clear, like I did with Claire over the course of that weekend. 
calling her out, which I did. You heard it. You're hearing it. Submitting an intellectual property office number that doesn't exist because the intellectual property office doesn't deal with anything goddamn copyright. Copyrights, copyrights, AD, truth channel, blah, 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 blah. Who cares if she lies? I care. What do our morals have to do with this? Bunch of flip flops. I care. Not you know, I, okay, I want to finish this. And again, this is my point of view. This is my shit. I can say what I want and I can show what I want. Is that a press plate nudge? Oh, sorry. No, that was a question. <laughs> what? Was that a press play nudge? Were you kind of telling me subliminally to press play? I don't know. I'm pressing play, damn it. My coffee is kicking in, damn it. 24 minutes for you to, to be available. God damn, you've had this amount of time to get something. Send it to somebody. There's no fucking way that Mr. Rusek is saying that he's just going to retract them now anyway. Are you fucking kidding me with that shit, Claire? Let me tell you something. Sorry, I need to pause it right there. One thing that Claire said to me was that she needed to talk Frank down off the ledge of retracting those strikes. She, she stayed on the phone with him because he was the only one awake that morning and she wanted to stay on the phone with him because she was talking him down off the ledge of retracting those strikes until Frankie was awake and could be in the presence of his dad. She had yes, to talk and Frankie I'll down. Awful okay, and from my perspective, I, I knew the whole thing was bullshit because as soon as I got into that stream yard and she's making excuses, she, she was tr pr pretending to look for something that she couldn't find and she was trying to divert the conversation and she yep. did so by saying that he was going to retract them. I, I, I That's my response. I, I bounced right at that. I left these messages. It was that simple because I thought she was. It was just an excuse, you know, buying time. He would never do that. Why would he? Now, in retrospect, he probably was. She was probably, again, really wanting him to retract it because she knew at this point that I knew that she was fucking lying. But that's what I'm shit. saying. That's why I'm saying she had the control of everything. If she'd really been smart enough, she would have just retracted them and then said something afterwards and nobody would have known the Well, you wouldn't have fucking lied in the first place if you were well, smart enough. There's also that. Or not. <laughs> okay. So I was upset. If they were yeah. valid, yeah. if there was anything to retract, why would he do it at this point? What has the last two and a half years been for? To get him off this fucking platform, to get his ass in court one way or another, right? Right now, he's really going to fucking retract them. Are you kidding? Just on principle alone, I have to tell you to fuck off with that shit, Claire. Like I'm a fucking idiot. That's a slap in my fucking face. All of this, and he's going to retract them? If they're valid and there's something to retract, there's no fucking way that he would do that. None. He's not going to retract shit. I'm on the record here. It's time to put up or shut up as far as I'm concerned. If he's got something, show it. Or you show it, okay? I'm tired of getting dragged. I'm getting so, uh, the reason, again, uh, uh, never I have no issue not saying and calling somebody out privately or in public. I, it doesn't matter, especially when I consider them my friend. And my friend is the one that was telling me this and her other friends in this conversation as things were happening, things that she had already shown us, that she had offered to prove, yes, no, I don't got it, lies, truth, whatever the fuck. And here's Claire's actual literal that we've been telling you response to her getting her cease and desist. How ironic. I just happened to pause on that particular clip. That was Yeah, because that's said. what that's what I woke up to that morning. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. And this I even said it to her, you know what? It's really fucked up. You just bounce when everybody got the cease and desist, even though it's fake. Look at how hilarious. She thought it was beating. hilarious, and then she bounced. Yep, she laughed. And, 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 and again, showing, yeah, I'm brainwashed. I'm the one that actually fucking said something to begin with. And this was over the course of that weekend. Or actually, it was that Saturday. That was it. Boom. Got so um, if you have it cued, I want to play the, uh, the following after the shit show. What happened? Number two. Yeah. Because this was the weekend when we need. I got to finish number one before we can. It's done. It's already done. That was the end. I paused it. That's the beginning of the end. It's a show. It's only a couple minutes long. Fine. Never shown anything that I'm anything either, but I'm fucking tired of this shit. Waking up right now with everything else going on. People talking about cease and desist, going to court, doing that, doing this. I have no fucking clue what's happening. I asked you a question the other day, and you never even answered me, Claire. I know I'm sounding salty right now. I haven't even gotten up off of my fucking liner that I've been sleeping on for the past fucking year and a half. And I, I'm dealing with this shit. So Why are you playing I'm it over yet? Did it actually that was the Friday. That was Friday, because it was, it, it was a short thing.
This is um, your whole clip, though, honey. No, it's not. Oh, did it start over? Uh, are you fucking high or what? That has like, I don't know what, what I put together. No, and there's gave still 40, you. it's still the same clip. There's 43 seconds left. I'm still playing. Well, it. no, you re, that the beginning was just now. Just put it number two because they're all short. Why that, I went through the whole thing because I ended it because I really I was, I was so upset about the fucking interaction. Okay, well, let me Bullshit. Watch. Do that. Do this. Do so that. Again, so ain't got no problem calling somebody out. Y'all know that, especially in this circumstance. So, am I a bad person for doing it? You tell me. But right now, at least you know, I have enough integrity to come out and say what I said. And uh, and and certainly not throwing anybody under the fucking dust, bus doing so. It wasn't a personal thing. It was about the strikes. And you see it right there. It's that simple. She couldn't even, she just bounced. She ran because she was busted. Um, not because she had to be quiet, but that's coming up shortly. Uh, it, after the intermission, I'm hang waiting on. for a genetic hang on, hang on, to cue that on. video for me. God, I need to get another goddamn producer. This one sucks. Money Penny is on a date right now, getting drunk with some floozy that she met at the Go Go Club. She needs somebody to pay her. You know, she's Listen, hoping to get a new. Yo, you day. know what I have? She doesn't want to be alone on my New own. Year's Eve. God damn it! Can okay, you so I can play the cute clip, please, motherfucker. Fuck, fuck you! This is my show. Come to a party all the time with my chin held high. Here we go. Stop it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, that was her response. Boom, gone. See ya, bitches. Claire has left the motherfucking chat. And you, you know why. Lizzie, did I kick you off or did you leave? You know what? I think she's upset because I said something about a money pen looking for a date for New Year's Eve. <laughs> Maybe she hit her up and, and, and Lizzie has an issue right now. She's talking to money penny like, what the fuck is Salty saying? Because... You said it was me and you, bitch. There we go. So this is uh, okay. So the 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 weekend that you just saw, uh, with my my comments and everything that were in those chats, that everybody was what we were going through, all of that. Okay, this is the Monday morning. The oh. Monday morning when everything oh, happened. Because the so, only people that I hear say, "Oh no, this is what's happened. This is what happened." Didn't find out from her. They're hearing it from somebody else. Like you're hearing it from who? Who, Alex or whoever else, like y'all are hearing it from this one over here and y'all are hearing it from that one over there. Who heard it from Summer? Who heard it from Mrs. Rusek? I am literally at the fucking point right now. I don't want to ever hear about a fucking copyright. I don't want to hear about strikes. I don't ever want to hear about investigations, criminal or otherwise, especially if there's several years in the future, you know? I'm tired of the cloak and dagger bullshit. I'm really tired at this point, right this second. Of thinking that anything I say or do is going to affect anybody's shit whatsoever. The families, y'all's, Claire's, everybody else's, okay? I'll just do my own thing, seriously. Because this is just freaking ridiculous. This is where we're at. This is fucking ridiculous. Criminal, you have no idea the stuff that he's been doing. I don't want to hear that anymore. I don't. I'm sorry. Is this me finally losing it? Probably. Probably. Because... All this shit that I've taken on. And I can barely get up every fucking morning. I don't have a bed to fucking sleep in. Nothing. This whole fucking weekend. Wasted emotionally. On nothing. That makes any fucking difference. Because none of it matters. I fucking hell. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Mm -mm. I saw enough. I went in there because I saw all these emails and then I'm just seeing all this shit about Claire. And then I'm seeing all this fucking shit from Kim. I mean, oh my gosh, I got so many things on him. It's going to be, I mean, just serious criminal charges. It might take several years for them to charge him. Yeah, she actually fucking said that. That and then in addition to everything that Jen and Amber were saying, I was like, this is it. I mean, this is literally it. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I can't do this anymore. I just, um, I can't believe that. Uh, and like it was nothing. And she's sitting here saying that about Claire. Every time I hear anything from anybody, it came from somebody else. I never saw it with my own eyes. No, I never saw it, but they told me they saw it. No, I don't know where it's at, but they saw it. And I trust them. This is what they told me because they heard it from this person, who, you know, who saw it or maybe didn't see it. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck that. I just can't. And seriously, 
nothing I say or do on any channel is going to make a fucking difference at this point. And that goes for all of us. How am I going to do anything? I can't even help anybody. This is for nothing. It's not going to hurt them if we can't help them. I think uh, I hear saying, oh, no, this is what's happened. This is what happened. That was my response to the people that were there, you know, uh, with Claire as everything happened that weekend. Again, I have no motive to lie. And that was my response. I was done after that because I knew everything was for nothing. Um, So, yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to flash forward, kids, about two weeks later. Yeah, when everybody started finding out shit. It was when BAMs had that live that Saturday and the ladies were up. Um, and then that Sunday when I spoke to Dorothy and I was on Dorothy's live stream and then Genetic Code and Sure joined us shortly after that. So it was that weekend with the people involved. Oh, no momentum. And we had conversations as it was taking place. Huh? Oh, I just said, oh, no momento. I'm still setting up. Oh, yeah. yeah. The people that were saying anything or not saying anything, it doesn't matter how uh, you're going to see that. And, uh, you know, they'll, they'll say things, um, of course. Um, so this is the longest to, one. Who are, this one's the yeah. six minutes. So just to let people know, this yeah. is six minutes long. Is it? I'm, I, I'm sorry. I don't even have chat open right now, but I'm assuming everybody can hear it okay because I can't turn it up anymore if I wanted to. <laughs> I hope. I hope. Well, I, I think, hope. Did, is there anybody in chat saying we can't hear? Have they not been able to hear anything? I can't see it. I'm not either. <laughs> Great. So nobody could maybe possibly have heard. Hey, you know what? Let's just pretend it, it's just me and you anyway. Okay. Let's just oh. say this happened. Yeah, let me set it up for you, JC. Uh. <laughs> we'll let them add lib. We can, they can add their own lib if they haven't been able to hear any of this. <laughs> All right. Here yeah. we go. <laughs> just mine. There we go. You got it? Shit. I got to share that shit, don't I? <laughs> I got to go get my phone so I can help you share it. Help me help you, damn it. That is, if you're going to take away anything from tonight, help me help you. All right. Help me help you. I'm not brainwashed. (laughs) I am not brainwashed. I am not brainwashed. Shut up, pothead. I know my delivery was harsh yesterday and everything, but I am responsible for what I say and do. Nothing I say and do at this point is going to help anybody. It's not going to fucking hurt them. That's how I feel. Obviously, what I've done and what I'm doing hasn't fucking worked. And I don't want to hear, you know, information from like a third person, fourth or fifth. It's an exercise in futility and puts us all at cross purposes. And um, I don't want to even do this anymore. That's the only place it was going to come on and on, though. You know that. I don't know what finally just let her fucking let loose, but we knew it was going to come out sooner or later. We were just lucky enough and uh, able to keep Bam quiet on it for as long as she did. Well, the truth will come out. The truth has fucking come out. Why would... Yeah, remember that? Remember that? There's Bam's chatter. The truth will come out. And I told her, yeah, the truth has fucking come out. And then boom, gone. I just wanted to reiterate that. The truth has come out because, again, that was Saturday with Bam's live stream and then Sunday with Dorothy's. And this was that weekend when everything was happening. No, no, no. The people no. that were involved. She was what? gone because she was in fear for her life. That's why, boom, she was gone. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking <laughs> about by the, this was two weeks after all that bullshit. And I, you know, I was, I was already processed everything weeks before that. So to oh, see yeah, the same right. people a, that are, they were like, they knew that she was lying a couple of weeks ago. They knew all this stuff and they're here and you'll, you're seeing it. That they're admitting it and they're talking about it, but of course they're not going to say anything. They don't say anything. Not they don't now. say anything. Like that. that's fine. I did. I did. So, um, sorry, I had to add that. You know, my commentary to my commentary. I'm pausing. Okay. Why would anyone, whether it's in Bam's chat or mine or anybody else's, be pissed off at the fact that we believed what she said? Just like they and everybody else did. We believed her until we didn't anymore. And it was going to end. And it was going to end badly. And it was going to be ugly. And that's that's unfortunate. But it's true. And that's where I... She lied. And if she didn't, then she should be able to at least let me know that none of it was dishonest. 
and that she was completely truthful and that this is what's going on. But she hasn't because she can't. She's perfectly capable of speaking for herself. Just the whole idea that she's not saying anything makes everything just a hundred times fucking worse. It really is. She lied to everybody, the community, everybody. We've been quiet because we knew it was going to fucking fly. Now that it's flying, we don't have to be quiet. And I said, before anybody say anything, let's all make sure we're all on the same page here. That didn't happen. You know, Cheryl and them, be able to sit here, we can say the same thing, that we've been prepared to take the heat. That was the plan. No shit was going to fly, and we were going to have to take the heat. She lied. She disappeared. The only person that should talk for herself or for her is her. Nobody else. Be clear. The reason why I'm saying this in here, I mean, all of y'all are mods except for Preach. She might as well be. Right, Preach? You might as well fucking be one of them by now or at this point. Whoever wants to take part in whatever conversation is going to be going on later trying to figure out what the hell is happening with Claire, be my guest. I will not be included. I don't care anymore. I don't. Because there isn't anything that anybody can say that can make me change my mind about anything. And I respect other people's feelings about her. I do. But please, for fuck's sake, y'all, stop saying the truth will come out soon. People will know then later. She should be saying that. If that's the case, she should be saying that. Not not anyone on her behalf. Now, if y'all want to kick me out of this fucking group or remove me, be my guest. Brainwash, brainwash. I, I will do what's necessary right this fucking second. Apparently, the brainwash terminology can also be represented as the word fooled. <laughs> To take, to take the, the shit show, show and divert it a little bit, which is what's needed. And I'll do it. I'll do what I have to. Because I have been here this fucking long fighting with y'all for the same goddamn thing. I will take that upon myself. I won't say it again, though. She's not going to come out and say anything. They'll expect us to. I'll do what I want. I'll say what I want. That goes for everybody. This isn't a question of having to be quiet for some reason, other than the fact that we knew that the shit was going to fly. There's no reason for anybody not to say anything. She's not a fucking secret agent. She's not on some special international fucking cause that's got to be secret and it's just <laughs> nobody say anything right now. If anybody wants to say anything, it should be her, not you, Kim, not me. Not anyone else. Her. I don't give a fuck what she's doing. I don't give a fuck what she's done. There's a reason why we are at this point. Lies are truth. It's not up to, to you or anybody else to try to clean this shit up. If she wants to say something and clean it up, she should. If not, it's not my business. It's not my concern anymore. What my concern is is the integrity of this fucking community. Now it's gone. I don't want this to be a reason for people to feel awkward around each other. Those people that were her very, very good friends or those that were just kind of on the periphery, those that loved her like her sister or those that respected her because they thought that she was being honest. The only person that should come out and say anything about anything, about who she is, who she isn't, what she's done, what she's not doing, what she said, what she hasn't said, the truth she's told and the lies she's told is clear. My issue, Kim, it's wrong to say that the solicitors will have checked out Claire the police would have checked too. Well, I know this and this is going to happen and this is what was said and I know this. We have to wait. They'll wait and see. They'll know the truth pretty soon. Just stop. I said my piece on this two fucking weeks ago. Everything I do is for me. Nothing I say or do at this point is going to hurt. I don't know why I kept saying that so many times. That's yeah, so very strongly about it, apparently. What was that? <laughs> What part of that? Oh, because I think over the course of, I think it was like two and a half weeks or so, and I said that repeatedly about it's not going to hurt anyone if I can't, you know, if I can't help them, I, you know, I, I repeat myself like a motherfucker. I and I really, I mean, but I feel I very strongly like, about that. And in, right? in hindsight now, like hearing all this shit back, because I mean, I was still like at that point, like what the fuck? I wasn't there yet. I wasn't there yet. So no, like, you weren't. I didn't want to hear it. Like, hearing though. it now, being fully there, it's like, oh my God, like you were like a sledgehammer in the fucking goddamn head with it. 
See, and this is the thing. I don't know how it got here to this point and how it's gotten so out of control from two weeks ago. So yeah. even there, I mean, how do you know? I mean, we knew this two weeks ago. Of course, you knew it was going to come out. You knew people were going to find out. And that's, that's again, I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, Claire, if you'd really been smart, you would have just automatically retracted the strikes. Just done it. You but should. you didn't do it. You didn't do it. So you didn't think that very well. well as you said, there's that about the, uh, if you hadn't lied about it in the first fucking place, YouTube isn't a court of law. Don't no, interrupt my show anymore, damn it. God damn it. You needed to show YouTube that you were taking him to court with a magical <laughs> the office number with the magical judgment that you pulled out of your fucking ass. Oh, and don't forget all the live streams that you were on talking about this shit. So again, this is the truth. She lied to a lot of people, us included. And there's a reason why she doesn't want to talk to her friends. But it's not because she has to be quiet. It's like, sorry, I am going to interject something here. This, this little screenshot right here, regardless of Claire's anything, <coughs> go back a little bit so I can. <coughs> regardless of Claire's anything that bothers me, because the last time that happened, she was ghosting the Rizix as well. I would just like to point out at this point, Cheryl's backstage, by the way, Sam. Um, I'd just like to point out that it was Summer that approached us to let us know and asked if we knew if there was something going on with Claire because Claire was apparently no, going no, to... Well, no, she contacted us to ask us if we had heard from Claire because yeah. they, she said that they hadn't. And that was when Bam was live that Saturday. It was during that. And that she had asked and it was Helen Happy Thoughts. I'm being honest, y'all. I'm, I'm yep. completely fucking transparent. She Sam and I hadn't even been on Doris. Salty. Either. We yeah. on she, she was yeah. asking if I had spoken or heard from Claire. And I'm like, that's strange that she would ask if I had, of all people, you know, um, heard from her. Come on. But yeah, and they were supposed to be having a, a discussion later on that might have been happening or might not have been. And I had no interest in participating in that whatsoever. Um, yeah. But the family I, wasn't mad at us. I don't know why they'd be mad at us to begin with, unless Claire was feeding. I don't know why anybody said bullshit. anything about that. It was about the fucking copyright strikes exactly. and then she was full of shit. Exactly. So, um, and that was the end, but because uh, I said, this is the truth. And these are the people that I'm talking to again, people on my channel, my mods, everybody knew what was happening the weeks prior to that. And, and as everything fell apart or what happened that day, everything blew up that weekend. We were talking, you were speaking with me. You were in these chats telling me these things and acknowledging all this shit. And then you want to tell everybody, you got to be quiet for legal reasons. That's why I told you to fuck off with that shit. Be honest with your friends, at least. You could have, you owed me that much for everything that I did standing with y'all for so damn long. Legal reasons or domestic violence reasons? Legal violence. reasons had nothing to do with anything but copyright. She was, I didn't care if she was a lawyer or not, but I knew that she wasn't. Gonna press play here. Oh, that was the end. Talk to our friends. I have, I have questions she has to be quiet. when this is done. You're only at a three question quote. Can you go back like 15 damn seconds, please? So you can Why is everybody thing. yelling at me? Uh, I'm leaving. This is boring. I, I'm going to go find another live stream. This is Get just shit. Panel, this, 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 this is crap tonight. This is not entertainment. I'm, I'm gone. Bye. All right. I went back. I'm going to press play right now. Ho, ho, ho. Us included. And there's a reason why she doesn't want to talk to her friends. But it's not because she has to be quiet. It's like each one of us is on her own at this point. It does. And that's a shame. That was anticlimactic. I know my delivery was harsh yesterday and everything, but I am responsible. So the fact of the matter is, is that when somebody tries again, I've said this before. If you ever listened to me more than once, you probably heard this from me. If, there's a few things that really piss me off or irritate me. And one of them is that when people have the audacity to tell me my own fucking business, when people tell me my business and you know that you're full of shit and you know and you just have to act like a certain way, fuck off. Don't dare presume to tell anybody my business or tell me my business at all. Ever. I'm not being dramatic. I'm not here to cause shit. This was me. I was I was in the trenches with that shit. For two weeks, two and a half weeks, I knew. 
And what happened the next very fucking day? AD's channel was back. AD, and we knew, I knew it was going to happen. We knew it. They knew it. They were asking her, why didn't they get, why didn't he get a cease and desist too? I mean, still asking, what are the lawyers for? What are they doing over there? Come on. So tell me my business again. Tell me how I'm fooled. Uh, she fooled everybody. She fooled everybody. Now, we were all you want to not say anything? That's on y'all. But fuck off for thinking that I shouldn't have said anything when the reason why I was here in the first place was to tell the goddamn truth. I hope I'm making myself clear. I was here to tell the truth. Why would I all of a sudden not do so? We were all invested at that point. Again, weeks of listening to this copyright shit. She was on every panel. She was in every group. She was on every fucking page and every video, every comment talking about this shit. And when the shit flew, you bailed. She bailed because she lied. I was going to tell you that the person that we all trusted, everybody, that, that this is why, this is what happened. And it wasn't about her being, not being a fucking lawyer. Again, I'm going to reiterate. I don't fucking care. No, she's not a lawyer. She never was. She never was. She never will be. Okay? Here's my utility bill. Let me sue somebody. Doesn't make you a fucking retired attorney first or verify shit. So again, make it very clear. The reason I was here, same reason that most of y'all were, right? We saw something that was wrong. We wanted to fix it. We wanted to do something right. So here we all were, you know, the Titanic looked like it was fucking sinking. And the retired lawyer bailed because she lied to everybody. I wasn't supposed to say anything. We weren't supposed to tell y'all what happened. Why he got his channel back? Ugh. We were just supposed to take the whole brunt of all well, of it for her, too. Well, looking at those screenshots, looking at those screenshots, there was people that actually knew and actually agreed. I don't know who the fuck was saying they wanted to come over when when especially it was it was snuff nuff and stand up that originally went up on Bam's panel, which one of our mm -hmm. group wanted to fucking shut us up because they didn't want to cause waves? Who the fuck was Well, that? you can narrow it down to certain many people because you know exactly who were in these chats because you were yeah, I, I, Except I for do. that one at that I, time. I, yeah. I know who's not here, but I'm just asking, is it... I, I'm, I'm kind of blown away. So you guys can all see where this went, right? We didn't want to... We didn't want this to be true. And then when it, we knew it was true... When somebody made in one of those screenshots says, you know, how did we get to here after two weeks? Fuck you, because the five of us had been dealing with this for two fucking months. So when Stand Up and Nuff Nuff got up on that panel, they had every fucking right to get up there because so we had on. been dealing with it. Hang on, Cheryl. Let's just so people understand when you say the five of us, who exactly are you like? I just want you to, to, to because that's where Sam and I are involved. You're talking about yourself, Stand Up. Je Nuff Nuff. Yep. Helen. Helen. Helen, and Carrie. Susie? Carrie. We, That's, yeah. Yeah. Carrie. We, we, were very tight, we were a very tight group of friends. Fuck you, Dorothy, because yes. you say you don't get in private chats. Well, that's because nobody wants you in a fucking private chat. You just, I, I do not find that. So, she's, that's, that's her opinion, Dorothy, Dorothy just, okay? That's her opinion. Dorothy so, just calls <laughs> people shit so individually was, through single e emails and talks to people individually. Right. It was the shit. five, it was five of us and Claire. There were six of us mm -hmm. all together. Right. And we had the five of us had been dealing with it for two months, trying to get her to, to give us something for proof. I'm not going to go over that again because we've already fucking gone over that so many yeah. times. Mm -hmm. But then we decided it's t we can't we can't. This is getting we're we're at this point now. Now we're now we're doubting whether these strikes are even going to stick. So when Claire conveniently didn't want to stream AD's live that was about her, that caused suspicion with Salty. Salty messages me saying, why aren't you guys streaming? I'm like, well, Claire didn't want to. Imagine that. So that's when I, I told Salty everything. Jen knew. Well, Jen, told me enough. He told me enough. What? And that's when I realized. I, I mean. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. So then there was, her, a talk, there was a lawyer thing. I don't yeah, so then there was a talk with a few other people we decided to reach out to who are close 
to Claire and the family, and we talked to them. Yes. They had the same fucking yes. reservations. They told us they had they had their they own the reservations thing. we didn't even know about, like ghosting the mm -hmm. Rusex. I didn't know about that. Okay, so then I don't know exactly what perpet what happened because time difference. But I woke up, and this was two weeks later, two fucking weeks later, that everybody else found out, even though we've already known for now two and a half months. They're, yeah, they're talking about it, but, but I think specific uh, to, to coming out on BAMS and then when we went up yes. on Dorothy's the next day. Yes. So when yeah. Jenny and, and Susie went up on BAMS, it for us, the five of us, it had been almost three months for everybody else. In fact, the people that I'm pretty sure were saying those comments because they're not here and they haven't been around. Um, they had only found out two weeks ago and you guys can see, I'm sorry, you guys can see everybody wanted nobody to know. They didn't want anybody to fucking know because they didn't want to deal with the fallout. Well, we didn't yep. fucking want to deal with it either. That's why we were trying for two fucking months to figure out, get her to just give us something for Christ's sake. <laughs> That's so, why I was in that chat that day saying, come on, man, the truth has come out. Now you, there's no reason why she has to be quiet. I didn't realize the next few days were going to play out the way it did um, because this, uh, that was on that Sunday. So uh, that was, I just wanted to put that in time reference. Sorry, yeah, and I, yeah. just, I just want to interject. I just want to interject quickly. Roberta, Roberta Ar um, Armour. Dorothy says she doesn't do private chats, but that's not what's being said about her. Apparently she talks about everybody behind the scenes. Yeah, she does that individually through her email. So what's the fucking uh -huh. difference, Dorothy? Fuck off with that bullshit. I'm done. Okay, so um, again, Ah, I, I'm really fucking pissed off that there was somebody that was in the know that knew, knew she was fucking lying, knew and, and it had their own things that we didn't even know about that they told us about that were worried that were they worried that it was coming out on BAMS or were they worried it was coming out? And why did they think they had any fucking right to keep us quiet? This was shit. This was shit we had been dealing with. I'm really pissed off about that because nobody has a fucking right to tell any of us who dealt with this a hell of a lot fucking longer that they shouldn't be saying anything. And I wish whoever said that had come over on the panel, even though they would be fucking outnumbered and get up there and try to say we shouldn't be doing this. Why? Why should we not be doing this? No, who shouldn't be doing something is fucking clever. Claire. Claire shouldn't have fucking lied to everybody. It wasn't yeah. Jenny or Susie's fault because Bingo. they decided to out her. They decided to bring it out into the world. They, they're they the ones, actually, like I said, I've said a thousand times, I am so fucking proud of those two. You guys have no idea how difficult it was, how excruciating it was, because we love yeah. Claire. She was a very close yeah. friend of ours. And it was excruciating. <clears throat> and one of the main things is we didn't want to destroy her. We would have loved for her to just stop. Okay. If you're not going to do anything and you know, you're busted, then just stop, stop doing what you're doing. But she and again, did. It comes right back to, I fucked up. That's all she had to fucking right, ever right. say. So, and these okay. are the same people that were also in that chat that, that two weeks prior when all the shit was flying with the cease and desist and Claire bailed when it was about, you know, all that shit. She bailed. They yeah, were asking so, her, just go, you know, whatever. I mean, it, two weeks had passed, and now all of it's coming out, and they still wanted to be quiet. They still wanted everybody else to be quiet about it. So I, I'm I'm going to stop talking because I know you guys have other things you want to go on, but I just I had to interject <laughs> here that anybody who thinks that they had us uh, even up. Uh, we didn't have to tell you guys. We didn't. We didn't. We could have kept nope. it to ourselves and we could have busted it out all by ourselves. You guys would have been totally. And those other people that aren't here now that knew about it, they would have been blindsided. We did. And also remember people. Guys. Sorry. I made my shit private. All of my videos, I made private my live streams because a lot of those fucking live streams she was in and she said a lot of different things. I just want to repeat that because yes, I told yes. everybody this so, when I did it because of what she said and even one of them specific to the things that she said about her work within the legal team. She asked me uh, to privatize and she said that she would edit that stuff out. I never got around to doing it because I honestly didn't fucking care at the point at that point. But uh, just, just remember that, it, you know, yeah. the, that you do keep quiet and you, and you don't have to be quiet anymore. So why are you telling me you still want me to be quiet or that we should be? I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And so like, again, uh, when we're it? here to tell the truth, Sorry. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to jump up. I don't know what their motivation was for not wanting everybody to know. I don't know if they wanted to be a part of it. I don't know if they wanted to prepare themselves. But by that point, the family knew what our suspicions were and what our concerns were. They knew what those other people's suspicions and concerns were. The family had been told everything. So there was no reason not to let the fucking community know because 
if we were right in what we thought, his blue channel was coming back. And guess the fuck what? Guess what happened? It it came did. back. We didn't want so, people to be We didn't want the whole fucking community to be blindsided. So if somebody didn't like that we came out with it, tough shit. It wasn't yours to come out with. It was ours. We're the ones that were friends with her. We're the ones that figured this shit out. We're the ones that came to you guys to tell you and ask you how we should handle this as a group. So fuck mm -hmm. you for thinking you had any control over when this was going to come out and how it was going to come out. But, the, the, but that, I think the most infuriating thing is the fact that, again, you know, we were here to to tell the truth about people. And, and if you want us to continue to lie about the person that we were here to try to deplatform, the whole thing was bullshit. What the fuck happened? It was like a house of cards. Everything fell down. It was, oh, it was, Betsy, it was stupid Betsy, at that point. Betsy, stupid at that point. Jenny, Jenny Nuff, she never fucking went for, for Frankie. She never said what are you anything. Talking about? Uh, Betsy's in the chat. Yeah, she was never. She was never. I'm not she, seeing the chat though. Well, she, she made a comment that that Jenny said something. I can't remember her exact wording. Disgusting. She went for Frankie or some stupid shit like that. That didn't fucking happen. Stop it. Everybody, stop lying. Well, you know, and something else too. Uh, I can't remember if it was Dorothy or if it was Juror. I think it might have been the Dorothy. I don't know which one. It was one of the two, if not both. Um, you know, couldn't believe. You know, if if if. If they had been treated the same way we had treated Claire, they would have ghosted us too. But then I hear the other Wayne Cooper's fucking chat uh, about, I don't know, whoever, which one of those freaks that laughed. Well, how can they ghost their friends like that? Pick a fucking goddamn side and stick to it. Fucking hypocritical. What? Wow. See what happens when, when your life goes to shit and you're like having a mental breakdown and you don't get on YouTube, you know? Uh, <laughs> you have no idea what's happening. This is where we're at, kids. <laughs> I'm being shitty young about no uh you don't you 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 ghost people when uh again uh faced with the reality that your friends your so-called youtube friends um you if know, you ain't lying and you got nothing weren't gonna to keep hide, quiet you don't, you don't ghost people if you've got nothing to hide and you've got nothing that you're lying about you don't just ghost people bottom fucking line is true and then you don't ghost them and then go around telling other people that you still are talking to or that you start talking to uh other bullshit so it, it, it's um it's stupid. First, it's really fucking stupid. Yeah. Uh, she had the opportunity, and she still did. She still does. But don't ever fucking tell me my business again, ever. Or right. say I'm ever. don't say I'm fucking brainwashed either. Fuck off. You of all people, I stood up for Dorothy. Y'all know that. When everybody else, when all that shit started happening with Helen Schaefer, ironically enough, and all the fakies and the crazy avocados and the fucking you know uh, psycho bunny boilers and all of that. I did, <laughs> and I've gone toe to toe with you several times, Heifer, about uh, you know not letting other people tell their truth or give them a break. Don't put don't put word in people's mouth. Don't put um, feelings and emotions into people's mouths or minds or anything else. Let them tell you how you feel. I don't know how many times I sat up on that panel with you, Dorothy, when you started your channel first of all, and you wouldn't let me. Speak what? My truth? Is that what we're going to say about anything? It was always about, you know, steamroll. Whatever. That's your style. But I had no problem. But you, in your place, essentially, do you want about Natasha Cooper? And God, this is ironic. This is happening. This shit with Kelly. But for me, for me, saying I'm fooled. Well, that's how Claire fooled me. That's my messages to Claire. This is conversations I took, I had with her. You saw, or you can see, and you tell me again that I'm fooled, that she fooled me. When I was the first one actually to say something, and then when the shit did go out or come out, we knew it was going to happen, y'all. Come on, damn. Why are y'all acting so surprised? I know, but still. Y'all disappoint me. You really do. Yep. Heartbreakingly disappointing. That's why, you know what, it was hard for me to go back and, and I listened to some of those clips because that weekend when everything happened and then the Monday morning, I was just, I'm broken and you could hear it. I'm like, I can't believe this is happening. I mean, everything is just for nothing. It, it, to, to have been through that and knowing that she lied about everything and um, having to reconcile with that, knowing what was going to happen later on. I mean, this channel was going to come back eventually. We knew it was coming back up Monday. And that's why I, I did say something to Dorothy. Dorothy, you've been wrong about things before, and that's why I contacted you when you put out that community post. 
and I came on. Dorothy's been shit. wrong about ninety percent of the shit that comes out. I don't of care. Show. I'm talking about me. I'm, I care about what she's wrong with me. Me. And I told you the truth, and I have no reason to fucking lie at all. Everybody knows that. I did the same thing. I got on the panel. I told the truth, too. And then yep. she turned around and talked about us, telling us what miserable friends we are, how Claire's broken and so sad that we ran her off. We're a bunch it's of mean girl off, man. friends. It was all our She's fault. She's checking that into she the Kentucky food. Fried Chicken up there right now. She doesn't give a fuck. God damn. Yeah, well, no, I mean, this is this is what Dorothy was saying about us, that, you know, we, we were terrible friends. Ter we should be ashamed of ourselves. They we're would have ghosted friends. us, too. They, she would have ghosted us, too. Yeah. Well, I am a terrible friend. I stood up for you, Dorothy. I had no problem doing it, and I would probably do it again if circumstances weren't like this right now. No, Maria, I don't, I don't support Helen and Frankie being dragged by BAM. Absolutely not. Not in the way that it was. This has nothing to do with that at no, all. I mean, and I asked her less when I was live. I told y'all, don't. If you're gonna, yeah, if 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 you want to go around talking shit about people or whatever, name them. Go ahead and put down their names. Who what is it you're talking about? Which creator? Which person said this? Which person said that? Because when you do that, there's it, it leaves so much room for doubt, uh, question, uh, shadiness, being sketchy, secretive, causing shit. Who knows? You know, Be honest. But that's that's another thing. Nobody is responsible for anybody else's opinions or what they say. We have not, not one of us, not one of us have held anybody accountable or went at them going, why are you in Dorothy's chat when she's dragging us? Why are you doing that over there when she talks shit about it? We don't fucking care. You can be friends who you want. And I've right. seen people yeah. go through people just because that they were in Bam's chat. Yeah, you meanwhile, those, those same that people. Shit. Those same people are in Bam's chat as well, lurking, taking everybody else. <laughs> You're right. You got to put a point there. Can we get this off? <laughs> you know, Maria, you saying that Bam dragged Frankie in hell. You know what? You know, you know what I say? So what? That's Bam's opinion. It's her fucking channel. She has a right to say it. Just like Dorothy can get on her panel and say sh all this shit about us and drag fucking Suzanne from he to hell and back. She has that right. That's her fucking channel. So does Bam. You don't like it, don't fucking watch. Wow. You feel very, she feels very strongly about this, Miss Money Penny. But is, you know what? You don't, and, and, and. The aesthetic here, if you say that you started a channel, first of all, because you didn't have a voice, and you didn't have platforms, so you wouldn't be able to speak out about Kelly or whoever else. Um, that goes, the, the same goes for others. I mean, they're capable of speaking for themselves. And in this case, she didn't speak for herself because she was lying. She was lying. And I told, it's very clear what I was asking for. And the other reason why I was asking for that is because I knew it didn't exist. And um, and again, I, I just want to say, I want to say I again have said because it, it's ob it's obviously been uh, possibly missed along the way. Maybe people are new. I don't know. Never once through any of this have we ever, 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 ever any of us said we do not support Frankie. We don't support the family. Never nope. once. Not Can we no. No, y'all started equating that. That yes, is fucked up. And I said once. so at the time. And who, and who in fact? Up. In fact, and who everybody, who anybody is friends with, and whose uh, channel that they go to, what if the their opinions differ, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We well, never come on now. I'm going to say this on on my behalf and everybody else's. If you're being an asshole and you're treating somebody like shit and you're talking shit like that, I care. We all care. We do. But the the, the principle here is that at that time, there were there were creators in this fucking truth truth uh, community that wanted us not to say anything. They wanted us to keep quiet about the lies and not tell y'all the truth. They wanted us to keep talking shit about AD and talk about his lies, right? But not hers. Or their, you know, the... the <sighs> And the standard typical answer when this subject comes up, and 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 it's it's just it's gross. People want to throw Bam around to divert the attention away from what we're really fucking talking yeah. about. I, it doesn't have anything to do with Bam. We're right. not talking to Bam or talking about Bam. This isn't about. How does Bam. she come I up? I never talk about Bam. What the fuck? It's I people in chat. It. It's people in chat. I, I can't see it. I'm that. sorry. There, there, there's somebody in chat who's saying that, but does that mean you support Bam who dragged um, Frankie and Helen? 
because you, you know what? This conversation has been had too many fucking times, know, especially on my stupid. channel. I don't care which channel anybody else goes on. I don't go and babysit, and I'm not the fucking hall monitor of the truth un or so-called truth fucking community. I, I don't care. I don't know who goes where, who says what, who talks to me, and who doesn't, all right? I don't. I'm sitting here saying very specific about this. It's not about BAM. Don't make it about anybody else. This is my shit. Mine. This is how strongly I feel about it. I am telling you the shit from my point of view. You're not going to sit in my chat or anywhere else and make it about anybody else. Especially yeah. when I have I have no fucking clue what goes on in anybody's fucking channel. All right? I know this. I know that weekend when everything happened. And we came out and Jen and I gave, uh, talked about the live stream. It was only about the copyright. It's not about her being a lawyer. I don't know how many times we stress that. The fact of the matter yeah. is, is, I saw people, I see people going around and they're still lying and I know they're lying. And if people knew the truth, then they would look foolish, wouldn't they? And I said something privately. I said, be careful. What's what you're saying to people or what you're going around actually intimating or what you're putting down because you, you, you know, this is the truth. And if push comes to shove, you're going to look very foolish and you're, look, you're going to be looking like a fucking asshole. And that's what happened. But still, you know, why, why, why? It, it 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 was never about anybody else other than this. Again, not even being a lawyer, I don't fucking care. It wasn't about me or any one of us not wanting to not make videos about AD or not wanting to uh, uh, admit why or tell anybody why he got his channel back. We were here. The only fucking reason I was here to begin with was to to try to deplatform that fucking pervy fraud. All right. All of us yep. for weeks with that copyright shit. And I just want to, and again. And then the day comes and we knew it was coming and the day came and he got his channel back and y'all didn't want to say shit. And Are you kidding? Forget, we were doing this with AD before we even had any, before the family even became active on YouTube. So, I mean, this, the, the whole point was to. I don't care family. who. Who wants to believe her or not believe her? I never asked in anybody not to respect her anymore, not to be her friend, not to support her, not to be a fangirl, not to be a Google granny, you know, wannabe. I never asked anybody for shit. I came out and told y'all, all right, that I never made it about the family. Y'all did. I'm saying we're telling you why he got his channel back and everything that she lied about with the copyright. Very particular to that subject. And y'all are going around saying now that we don't support the family, that we yeah, turned our backs on back. somebody, that we so were trashing them. So what if Claire lied? What does it matter? If, yeah, can, I, can, I, can I just say something? People need to stop and fucking think. Just stop. Clear your head. Do some meditate, whatever. Clear your head. Look at, you got salty. You've got genetic code. You've got enough, enough. You've got how many of us subs? You guys, whether you like us or not, we've been here for a very, very long time. Some of us for the entire time, right? And we've been honest the entire fucking time. Why, why, why would we do this if it wasn't true? Why? Claire was part of this. I've known Claire for three years from way back when, when we were all with Braun, <laughs> which is actually three years from this month is when I found him. Anyways, <clears throat> why why would we fucking do this that, because i mean that's yeah you got to think <laughs> about this we wouldn't be doing this why would we put ourselves out there in 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 the spotlight we knew there were going to be a lot of people that didn't agree with us they, we knew we were going to get a lot of fucking hate and whoever was in those screenshots clearly wanted to keep it that way so they wouldn't it get wasn't hit. even us that went public about the strikes to begin with that was all fucking clear that one to go right. Yeah, but, but it was going to come out eventually. We knew it. We wait, knew it. I, and, and we. What I want to point out is, public. if you you if you use your brain and think about what is the motivation for all of us to say anything <laughs> about this, because nobody wants AD off more than us. Yeah. The, the subs and you guys as creators, Genetic Codes lost her channel. She's lost her. She's lost a lot. Two Jen, Facebook, Jenny, Facebook's account. Jen, Jenny Jenny has been invaluable to the community because, you know, the, everybody knows Nobbington Manor. That's the break that sometimes we all really fucking need when shit was going all, mm -hmm. really bad mm -hmm. all the time. 
So she's put a lot, everybody, every one of us has put a lot of work into this. Why the fuck would we try to sabotage that by the one person that everybody thought was doing so much work <laughs> calling her out? That just makes no fucking sense. How fucking preposterous that sounds, hearing it like spit out like that. That is yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, I'm I'm thinking about the the live streams that we did, and you know, of course, I've been been AWOL since then, pretty much. But to come back at this point, even think about uh, some of the stuff that that you know what we were here for originally, and, and, and the whole thing, the way it played out, was so fucking sad that it came down to telling the truth or or not telling the truth. Think about it. Think about that. Wow. So I I feel in, I in, feel in being here. All the people, y'all know that I'm honest. I have no real. I'm not gonna come up here and be gratuitous with my fucking drama, my hate, my bullshit. If I wanted attention, if I was an attention seeker or a glory hound, like some people, like you know, to, they say not that I'm a glory hound, but they use that word all the time. Glory, glory. They want all the glory. There's a lot of things that we can come up here and do just to get that. We can come up here and lie and talk shit and put stuff out if we're drama, if we want to cause issues. Well, we certainly I have too much integrity for people money. to think now, after all this time, that I'm a fucking chump. I'm sorry. I, I'm not. And, and, I'm and I want to point out that out of the five of us that were originally, you know, really tight with Claire, only one, and that's Jenny, has a channel. If we wanted fucking attention and we wanted the praise and the accolades, then we would have fucking started a channel too. But we didn't because that's not what that's not what we were about. Yeah. So anyway, our, our basis for being here or, or being in this community at all, making videos or talking about him or just leaving comments and supporting the, the creators and the content that people are putting him out about the pervy fucking fraud, um, it, it, it went down that way and everybody just either was quiet or not. It didn't matter. The idea, the very idea that we were, we were here and, and, and why we were here, what we've done, what we represent, what we stand for. Um, our character, our morals, everything about us, becoming friends or not, I mean, just supporting each other or not, it was a farce at that point. It really was. It, it, it's about telling the truth. Farce. And we were here to do this. And, last, and perhaps you wanted us to stay quiet because you didn't want people to know. The last um, fucking thing that we've, and the last reason we've been doing this is because it's a fucking farce. Come on. That's why I said you didn't think I wouldn't say anything about that. Not to mention the fact that, yeah, uh, this is this is this this was my personal experience, and this is what happened. So, whether it was um, Claire or you know whoever, I I don't know how to put this, but we were here to tell the truth. the The day came where he got his channel back, and at that point, it's like, what the fuck. What the hell? And, and and you couldn't come up and just, you know, be accountable for that one thing. Yeah. That's on y'all. But yeah, exactly. Well, fuck y'all again for thinking that I should be quiet or anybody else should be quiet about their friendship, about what they had thought about her months prior, or even if it was just days that but we again, should continue to keep our mouth shut. No. And, and again, no. I just want to make it very clear. <laughs> Claire did all of the striking. Myself preaching Claire had sat and spent many fucking hours trying to figure out the best avenue that we were going to take to strike him. And all of a sudden, Preach and I woke up one day. If and Claire if went Marnie and did in here. her own thing. Claire went and did her own thing, which was completely nothing that Preach and her and I had talked about. And she had already struck him. So she's the one that started and kick-started this all off and expects that because she's fucked up and has lied to everybody that everybody else is going to take the brunt and the heat for it. Fuck you, Claire not going to happen. I just think that's a fucking punk ass thing to do as well. Because well, when you, you are in the, yeah, you were in these situations with me, let's just say with me personally, I'm not speaking about anybody. Else. But y'all are in here talking to me. One, if you know me um, well enough to know what my character is or what I stand for that, that I should just continue keeping my mouth shut because what was going to happen ultimately he came back and it's like, you know what? Fuck this whole thing is just bullshit at this point. We would have taken the brunt for it, then, but it would have been. Yeah, would have. Every people were so. I don't even want to say they were disenchanted or they were disappointed or whatever. But from my point of view, after everything that I had done, everything that we've said, the support I've given, still looking to help her clean this shit up. Why? I don't even know why. Why I did that? Probably. Because that's what we were here for, man. We were here. We thought he was going to be gone. We thought everything was groovy, and we knew that she couldn't show anything 
or she because it doesn't exist. And, and again, still, please reference if you have to. She has no fucking problem pulling up that case management system, reading out people's email, showing the receipts from the crowdfunding. Uh, oh, playing the voice clips from AD's fucking crazy, you know, uh, shit wads over there. Leave AD alone. I mean, all kinds of shit. Yeah, all kinds. Every single communication, every single thing of harassment, defamation, everything she that was we showing. Never, we never asked to see. We never asked ever. to see. She ever. All on her own accord. Ever. So fuck you again. Hey, fuck you. Huh. One more time. Fuck you. You had no problem showing anybody That's shit. Very, I wasn't very, asking to see anything that you said that you didn't have already. The only time we ever asked to see anything was when she said, what, what do you, what can I show you? And for me, my yes. is I want to see the IPO. When she said, I'll yeah. show you whatever you want to see. What do you want to see? I want to see the IPO document that you sent to YouTube. Pretended to look at her email, I guess, for 10 minutes. But, and then all of a sudden, yeah, couldn't produce a fucking thing. Don't fucking ask if you know damn well you're not going to fucking show it. I'm trying to make it look all good. Yeah. But yet, she can show us all of this stuff that we've never. That was less than four. That was less than two days prior to that. Two yeah. days before this shit. She was pulling up that shit and the, the case management talking shit about, uh, you know, some of these people and showing us this and, uh, you know, everything. And again, the, she the documentation that she gave the lawyers to verify was her utility bill. Uh, I think of what a passport photo. Yep. Um, One of them was uh, a, the a document permission. signed by young Frank Brusak Jr. saying that she could come in and, you know, bandy yeah, about with secret private fucking information. Her permission um, slip, nothing yeah. about her credentials, nothing about nothing. And it would have been in that case file. That's the thing. Don't deny. Don't don't come out as an excuse about that. Why that's not in there? Because it was private. And it was just in that fuck off with that bullshit. Fuck off. If you had anything and there was something to verify, it would have been in that goddamn file. It wasn't Mr. there Shannon, because I, you didn't you have saying, it. Hang on, Sam. Mr. Shannon, I, you're saying that we're acting like kids. Are you really kidding me right now? Please I deserve me. it, actually. Mr. Shannon, I, so he said you fucking do it anyway. Guilty or not, Claire has stayed silent, but you are doing it to her right now. I'm not sure what you mean, but. You are the ones acting like kids when this has been raked over a thousand times. How's it been raked over? What? That's I what haven't said shit in weeks. I haven't said, I've only talk, talked about this, what, how many times on those two Claire live has, streams? I never say shit. Fuck off. She Fuck stayed off. silent because she got caught in a lie. That's why she stayed silent because up to this very fucking second, she's never addressed the fucking strikes and wife channels back because she lied. What? Shannon, I, there was no IPO intellectual property office number that she got because the intellectual property office doesn't deal with copyright strikes at all in any way shape or form acting like kids we're supposed to take the brunt of claire's fucking lies fuck that no i was i was I, we were supposed to be part of this truth community not tell the truth apparently and they keep making ad's about a pervy fucking fraud but not about the fact that why why he got the pervy fraud got his fucking channel back that's just it isn't it kids yeah. But Claire's Come not on. staying silent. She's got no problem talking to Dorothy. And again, she's got no pro problem pinpointing on her Facebook to the exact degree and longitude where exactly she is by address. But she's in, her life is in danger. For legal reasons, her life is in danger because of her ex. I mean, I don't know which one it is. Her life is just in danger to that point. Well, that's that's the I, I that's specific to, I guess, what to her checking in wherever on Facebook. The point being that, you know, if you're in danger and you have to be quiet, you sure do say a whole lot of things to or it's funny how many people she started talking to after all this stuff happened. But again, I'm going to say this, Claire, you know, what kind of woman I am. You know me. You know me enough to know. I, I'm going so to have read, the fucking balls. going to read Betsy Pace's comment because I think this this is basically what. This is it. This is it. She She'll says say the, court, the court of enterprise is where she should have filed. Yeah. Wish she would have said why. Yes, mm -hmm. that that's the point. That's that's what we're all we. That's yes. it. I, all we want to hear is yes. you know what I fucked up. It's a I don't care. That. I mean, she couldn't even do that. She couldn't even do that. I fucked. What up. were you doing here? What are we supposed to still be here for? Knowing that she lied about everything. Everything was going to fall down this way. It, it, this is the community that we're supposed to be telling the truth in. It was a slap in my fucking face. And, and I respected her. I respected her. I respected her. To be very her. honest, if anything, it, and again, I'm saying this is just my personal thought on this. She's hurt that family's case by doing this because it does look like a targeted fucking attack on, on, on AD. It does. That's she, why I said, you know, it, it, yeah, it occurred to me when she had said what she said or uh, she didn't say it to me. Because it's like, hey, what happened, Google Granny? How did that play out? Considering that you were calling this woman Kim every 10 minutes and y'all are besties now, bringing down AD, that they dropped the case against them. 
But let's just say for the sake of fire that that was the case. Let's just say that she was telling the truth, right? And y'all were talking to these people. Uh, Boom. A couple months later, you start filing these strikes on behalf of Frank Rusek Jr. And this is the person that you went to Google, right, to tell, make sure they knew about. And they knew nothing about him, of course. But see, see how ridiculous that is, the whole situation itself? That you would go to Google, whatever reason, and now you're over here Thursday before just days, days. Claire told me and told us that she and his and Frank Rusek Jr.'s legal team had a meeting with Google and that he was going to be taken off the platform the following Monday. Well, there was also one point that's the stuff that she was saying, right? One of those I mean, that's strange, how ridiculous it is. But there was another another time where it was the Thursday night and and AD was doing. I can't remember if it was his attack at Claire or at Grimm, but it was one yeah. of those. And she yep. said that. That as soon as AD named said Frank or Frankie's name, she was going to call Yar directly, and Yar was going to contact Google, and he would be taken down immediately. That's the stuff that she was saying, y'all. This is a shit. She, she said a lot of stuff to a lot of different people, and again, that's why I made some of my. Pro- I'm just going to go ahead and make everything private because I thought if uh, people do want to come, it could be used against her, but I thought it could also be used to help as well. But that's the kind of friend I was, and that I am. Notwithstanding the current situation, because you're a punk ass bitch for doing what you did, and, and it's a shame that you would rather it. go around saying that I'm the one that's being fooled, that I'm being fooled, listening to whoever y'all are telling me so much uh, that I have to, to to believe it. Again, I don't need. That's just a ridiculous notion, but the idea that that, yeah, yeah, I'm being fooled. Brainwash. What am I? What 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 was I ever here for? What were y'all here for? Why are y'all still here? Ask yourself that, that, that it ultimately was about this pervy fucking fraud, the exploitation. I mean, any reason why you got involved in this, right? Or you decided to put your hat into this ring. You decided to emotionally invest yourself in such a way that at the very end, when it all came down to it, somebody was lying. They fucked up majorly. He was going to get his channel back. That was it. We were supposed to take all of the flies. We weren't supposed to say nothing. That's a fucking joke. That was a slap in our face. It really was. With no information, we were just blindly supposed to take all the full fuck back from it. Okay. Right. I'm supposed to, I'm one, either being fooled or blamed, but I'm not supposed to tell the truth about anybody or continue on. That's, that, that, that that is not groovy. Okay. I can't chill with that vibe. Get y'all shit together. Now, I never asked again anybody not to spurt Claire. Never said anything bad about that family, and that's the truth. I hate, I hate that. Why did I just say that? I never said anything bad about that family. That really sounds so tacky coming from, from me, considering we always hear it from the pervy flaws. Um, I've been quiet because that's how I am. That's how I said my piece. We said our piece, and that was it. And for me, it was about the copyrights. And I wanted y'all to know why he got his channel back because she wasn't going to do it, and she didn't. And y'all know what happened. And now you see that as, as everything was going on, that those who choose or chose to stay quiet were not quiet in private. They were not saying those things. Or they were not say, being quiet about those things, I should say. So when you acknowledge the fact that you want people to keep quiet still, that, again, it disappoints me. It disappoints me. It disappoints me to think that people would think that I'm being fooled by somebody or I was fooled by somebody. Th- that means, by that rationale, sweetheart, that means that you fooled me. Am I making myself clear? I hope I am. I have no fucking horse in this race anymore. I don't need to not say anything about anybody or start talking about somebody that I was always quiet about. It's over and it is done. I beat that horse to fucking death, okay, back in October when it got a fake cease and fucking desist from somebody named the armchair fucking detective of Bubbles. And they decided they got to go take a fucking nap. (laughs) See you later. Yeah, that was my YouTube experience here on the fucking island. That's what happened, okay, on this love, non love boat. That was after. It was a fucking show. Too. Don't forget, that was after the six laughing emojis. It, it was a fucking joke. It came to a, it, 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 it was sick the way it ended. And if I wanted to come up here and tell you what happened or not, that was my choice. Don't put me in other people's uh, uh, chats. 
channels support, not support, nothing. It's like everybody wanted me to come out and say shit about Iva, right? Call her out for being a fucking racist, nasty ass drunk about her drunk videos. But I didn't say anything until I had to say something. And when I finally said something, y'all understood, of course, and you agreed with me. And I'm sorry you don't want to agree with me on this one. But fuck off anybody that thinks that I should have just stayed quiet about the one reason why I was here with all of you. Not say anything. Carry on. Continue with your live stream, Salty. Were you for 12 hours straight calling the pervy fucking nasty ass goddamn fraud? But it's okay to clear lies. What are our morals? And, and all of those people that said, again, I don't fucking care. As long as the family agrees with her, is okay with it, it's fine. Okay, that's great. Whatever. I'm not okay with a liar. I'm not asking anybody not to think that she's not telling the truth, though. There's a big fucking difference. I yep. never... Lizzie's backstage. The family, anybody, any of the creators supporting her... Oh, Sam, it's you're on mute. Salty, you're on mute. <laughs> My thing just turned off automatically. Why don't you go um, tell him that, Dan? Lizzie's backstage. Lizzie's I'm sorry, but what, what what's the point of me being here? I mean, what, what was I here for? And now you want me to be quiet and not say anything? Come on. That's up to y'all if you don't want to say anything and you know the truth. I feel bad for those of you that probably wanted to reach out to me or just want y'all ghosted me or dropped you or whatever, right? Um, however you want to put it. The fact of the matter is, is that I thought for one second, I felt really bad for somebody, for some people, because they were in a position to where, I mean, they were really, you know, it sucked to be in the position they were in. I've never asked anybody taking sides. I never asked anybody for anything. I just, I only asked for people to remember that I, I have enough character to tell y'all the truth. And that's what I was here always to do. So how could I not continue to tell the truth about how it ended for me? What's the point? Sorry. I have to go get my numbing spray. Lizzie's got a mullet going on. And I, fuck, I know it's not a funny moment, but this is Lizzie with a mullet in her avatar on the Shirley show, which is like our Oprah in Canada at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? But I do want to say something, you know. Oh, oh go ahead, Lizzie. I'm, sure I'm going to mute because, I, because I've seen the clip and I fucking love it. So, guys, let's just be clear. Lizzie's on the right. With her mullet and Shirley, who was at the time our Oprah Winfrey of Canada, a talk show host named Shirley. But not not this Shirley, another Shirley. Some other Shirley. Not this Shirley. <laughs> no, that Shirley, no. No, you know what? You know, everybody knows that I don't get into this stuff. I, I don't discuss it, certainly not in public. Oh, and mostly it. not even private. But there was a few things I wanted to say. Um, first of all. Am I right? I believe I'm right in 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 um, thinking that what actually happened was that YouTube required for a copyright strike, they required the um, court documents, which is what I, I've always believed. If oh, you're going yeah, to if you're going to counteract a copyright, you need to provide court documents. Documents. Proof of the proof of pending court litigation, basically. That's right. So or those. So apparently, what happened was it was an IPO that was given, which had absolutely nothing to do with court documents. So therefore, YouTube couldn't accept the copyright. So it all boils down basically to that. Am I right? No, no, because what the IPO stands for is the Intellectual <clears throat> Property Office, Lizzie. Yeah. The Intellectual Property Office in the UK doesn't even deal with anything administrative. They don't deal with anything of any kind copyright. She yeah. needed to go to the Intellectual Property Off Enterprise Office. So when she was telling us that she had sent YouTube a IPO number, it doesn't exist, Lizzie, because the IPO, the Intellectual Property Office, doesn't even deal with copyrights of any kind. Exactly. But then go further. She, her saying that her nephew worked there or something that he was fast tracking everything. 
she had a judgment. She had a, a magical pending judgment. She was pulling out of her ass for, with a IPO number that doesn't even exist in the real, real reality of things. Okay, yeah. so basically that's what I'm saying. There wasn't a court um, issued document to give them. No, it doesn't. So exist. therefore, it wasn't going to. It was go, not going to go through because like, it wasn't. And she knew it. It she knew it. So that's the basics of it, right? That's the very basics. Um, the thing, yes, and I, I will say, I know um, I'm going to say this more along these lines, and I, I don't forget that, again, just within days of receiving the ridiculous cease and desist, and she had the case management and everything else pulled up, going over the legal documents that they were gathering against AD, showing the voicemails and the receipts from the legal fund and you name it, that um, she also at that time pulled up her email. Um, and her studio, and when I think that she was saying that it was Frank's or whatever, and going back and looking at it, and looking at everything that I saw and I didn't see, I was like, how did I, uh, how did I not fucking notice this? Because when you know what you're looking for, you know, um, she showed that thing that um, it was, a, I think, truth be told, email that she forwarded to her with bubbles, and bubbles not being able to provide a number or whatever it was, right? In how retrospect, I thought, why in the hell wouldn't she have shown? That was because she would have had the same very very same thing by filing the copyrights against AD. She would have had the same paperwork, but essentially the same documents that you have to provide that you have to prove they have to get this. She so was showing why, that. Why was there no court thing issued, or did it? Because she didn't do anything. She didn't yeah. do anything. She didn't. I don't. I mean, do you, there was going to be an end to that. That's why I don't get it. There, it was going to end in some way. How the fuck? And that's when she started kind of like, oh, shit, it's really hitting the fan now. So when everything happened that weekend, um, being asking her, because, and again, you know, she pulled up the email just days prior. Yeah. So why can't she do it now all of a sudden? Um, mm. Why was she floating that around? Claire, you were showing that stuff that came from Bubbles. You would have had the same exact thing on behalf of Mr. Russo. But you didn't want to pull that up, did you? But then when you go back and I look at my video, hun, every single one of those strikes were falling off. Info needed, info needed, info needed, info needed. All of them. And you knew it. I I know from the copyright strikes I've had, and I, I, I just know from them that the ultimate is that if you're going to appeal it or, you know, go against it, yeah, um, you just, you need a they're not going to battle that. They're going to let you decide. They're, they, they're not going to uh, try to prove copyright. Or who has the right to use this or not? They're gonna let y'all take. Uh, other people do it. Just show us that you're gonna be um, that. To show us that in the future, you're not gonna be able to continue the use of this man's or woman's images or music or whatever it is they file against. That it has to be taken care of in that matter, in that regard, in the, because they can't police it in that way. But that was the way this that it was written here, basically in terms of service of copyright. It, it protects people, especially trolls and things like um, automatic. Uh, what was that one that AD said? What was that one that struck them on every fucking video? What was it? The troll company. Anyway, they'll strike you. Oh, lasso, lasso, kind of lasso, lasso. Lasso. Okay, yeah. It's designed to help them and to help YouTube, but it's uh, with the copyright itself. That that whole thing. Hey, and again, if uh, Dodd, if she's helping you with copyright, at least now she knows what to do, right? Ha, ha. Good luck. Yeah. Using okay, so basically, using basically, my fucking hard work. <clears throat> basically, it's all down to the fact that there wasn't a, a court document issued. No, it, there was nothing. It should have been. Nothing. Now, the other I, thing. What I just said, Lizzie, is an intellectual property office number yeah. does not exist because the intellectual property office does not deal with copyright doesn't. issues of any kind, nor mm -hmm. are they a court for anything copy relate, copyright related, period, end of story, full fucking stop. And that was passed off as being the equivalent of a court document, which it wasn't. Right? I don't even. I don't even know what if she. I don't think she submitted anything. Only again, Claire can answer that, and Claire is never going to come clean with this. Nope. I have no doubt she will ever speak up on this ever. Okay. Even even acknowledge. Now, I call you out now, though, Claire, for the friendship that we did have before. Get your fucking uh, self over here, or or maybe message me. I mean, you can do that. Just a, I fucked do, up. How about that. just an I fucked up. Never, Never gonna want to be your friend again, but I have fucked up. I think you at least owe everybody in this fucking community that. And really the family mm -hmm. too. Why don't you own up to what you've fucking done? I don't I don't want to I mean, let's not even bring them into the equation seriously because it's not about that. 
No, you're but right. how anybody, any one of y'all over there that could, would have been here this entire length of time doing what y'all are doing, what you're here for, how could you not even acknowledge the fact that he got his fucking channel back? How could y'all not even say anything about that? Come on. After she kickstarted and initiated the copyright fucking strike process to begin with, she ran with it, ran with it all on her own. And it was nothing, nothing to do with what her, myself, and Preach had tried to figure out together how we were going to. She just ran with it all on her own. As I said, we woke up one morning and she had fucking struck him. It was already done. Whoa. I don't. Yeah, because um, what what you're pointing out is the fact that these were things that y'all were doing as a group. And don't forget, again, it, Jen has said this several times. They came and asked us for help. Y'all asked us to help you. You asked us to do that, okay? We didn't seek you out and ask you to do this for us or whatever, and we were all invested. And all of y'all sat on that live stream days, days before the final shit show, talking about how, again, Lizzie, you were up there. I'm asking you to trust me. If you know, if you trust me, then you you need to trust everybody else. Well, that's the that's, other, I, that's the other thing I wanted to say. Um, I, I, don't say too, I don't say too much, but there was one life that um, I don't know who did it. Maybe you, where there was about five or six of us up there. And, that was nothing. And I, uh, to me, as everybody knows, my credibility is really important to me. I work yes. on it hard, and. Yes. Uh, um, I remember turning around and saying that all of us up there, not just me, but all of us up there, um, if you believe any one of us as being credible, that um, we all believed that this was all going fine. And then to find that I was wrong, I should never have said that because it, it kind of lost my credibility and everybody else's credibility because yeah. we believe something that wasn't true, but we yeah. ask other people to believe in us. Yeah. So it doesn't look good on us. Right. Yeah. You're right. And, and I mean, that's a very simple way of putting it, but that really did hurt me. Um, it it did. Other, that, that was difficult yeah. for me to listen to, to listen back to. That was really hard. Yeah. And the yeah. other thing I wanted to say, um, because I don't let a lot, um, upset me you know I can let things go by but what has really hurt me is to see all of you so upset I mean it, it's it's beyond I can't believe how all of you it's just affected so many people and it's it's the community itself Lizzie what are we here for we're here yeah, to tell yeah. the truth yeah and we were all here I we all had our hands on that basket well, and all I think at this point, too, like Betsy B just said it, Claire had him by the balls and blew it. And I think not only did she blow it, yep. she's left everybody in a worse position than we were before all of this striking of hers happened. And I mean that. I mean, as far as in terms of taking him down. It, exactly. And when it came down, that's why I, I you know, if you just um little, you know, uh, just looking at it from that perspective that you're here and it's about this channel and, and deplatforming or, or court cases or anything, whatever they, that they, you would be hoping for in the future, that would happen as a result to his exploitation of the last how many years of this family and anybody else and everybody else that he has exploited that when it came right down to it, that uh, the, we're here for this reason. We knew he, again, he's not going to be lying. This is why. It, it, it was a joke. At that point, I was just sick to my stomach I, I, about the idea that, that this was ever about being or telling the truth at all. I always told the truth. I always and I still do and I always will. And I have no reason to lie about that. And because of that, I cannot in all good faith and consciousness sit up here and say anything about telling the truth or being a true community or a true channel. That's what we were here for. Yeah. Ultimately. Yeah. And you So where do you go from here? There's nowhere to There's go. There's nowhere to go. Who's so I'm sorry that people, you know, are not getting, you know, it, I'm, you know and, it, and it's not about being a friend. Oh, my God, you don't treat your friends like that. You don't ask your friends for their credentials. Well, now you, you know exactly why they were being asked for. And it wasn't by us in that conversation. It was because we knew she was going. Um, I asked Claire to come up that one night when we did the first life, at least come up and tell people why they were asking for your credentials in the first place, because that would explain everything. But she would, but she can't, she won't. And I can, I just want to say something really quick. Um, 
Because Lizzie calmed me down and I made some ginger men cookies. Um, so I'm gonna calm her now. <laughs> and here's the ginger woman cookies, damn it. Um, the, I, the, I'll actually be even more calmer when I start decorating them because I'll, I'll be eating them. So, but first off, I would just like to point out um, I'm sorry that Mr. Shannon and I felt the need to leave, but um, one of the things is that. Well, I he said, he, what, what, wait, he said, he said, he said that. I asked him. He said that nothing's been going on. Why are we doing this? First off, I, I would like to say, because just because you haven't seen anything going on doesn't mean things have not been going on. Um, the other thing is, as far as who's done what, who's that, you, you're free to believe who you want, but I would just like to pose this. Every single person that said something about the other person is still here. We are still here. There's only one person that is completely MIA on this. And that's the person that we feel has lied to the whole community. And so consistently. What do you mean feel? I know she does. I know she lied. She lied to me. How about that, Mr. Shannon? I, the fact of the matter is I was here always to tell the truth about AD. And I knew AD was going to be getting his channels back because she lied. She lied. She lied. Sorry if I'm back here talking about it now, however long later. Sorry, it upsets you. All right. What the fuck am I doing here? You want me to keep talking about AD or you just don't want me to say anything about Claire? That affected me and affected the entire community. But you don't want me to say anything? Community. You don't want me to say shit? Come on. You know, honestly, you know me better than that. From my perspective, it seems like every fucking action that Claire has taken has, has done nothing but sabotage everything. God, this is fucking ridiculous. Like, I'm still here fighting for a cause? I gave up on that a long time ago because it was bullshit, Mr. Shannon. I, come on. I'm, I'm going to say I had a moment um, like a week ago. I have like the Beep Beep Cup, the Nobbington Cup, and the Grim Cup. Um, and I have them sitting on my windowsill. I was doing something on my counter, and I looked at it, and I felt so overwhelmingly oh. sad sad and and i talked to the girls i said you know it just ah you know we not everybody liked each other some people didn't like each other some people didn't like certain channels but in a whole as a whole we were all one very fucked up family or small town or something um but in 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 an instant it just kind of imploded and um and i was kind of i was hoping that once the dust settles we can come back together, and um, that just didn't happen. So, um, Jenny, and it's a shame, but I'll tell you one thing: that the one thing that you were fighting here, that you were the one reason why you are here. You want we everything the way it ended, and all the people are saying, "Gosh, he's never going to be taken down. He's not going to do that." But continue, continue calling him out. So if they call him a pervy fucking fraud, I like that. What am I here for? What were we here for? What was this community? It was about him, ultimately, okay? Not about any of us individually or even as a group, but the idea of what we stood for and why we were here became offensive to me, Mr. Shannon Knight and family and everybody else I'm speaking to you. That became offensive to me, that we were here to tell the truth and to try to get him deplatformed or make people aware of the fact that he is a pervy fucking fraud. And again, I just want to remind people And, 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 and pretend like no, it didn't happen and to keep going about our business here as usual and, uh, and this this fucking truth community. Are you kidding? Come on, man. But again, I also That's want to interject. This was all before the family even became very active on YouTube. Right? We were making our videos before there was oh, any yeah. kind of even comment communication. So, of course, I mean, yeah. it was about defucking platforming AD for starters because of how he was treating the family. Right, right. It, and so when people say you're, you're not supporting the family, that that's just stupid. What's nothing to do with it? We were we were here trying to fight. Some of us were here trying to fight to get him shut down before the because. family came around. So yeah, it has nothing to do with them. Nothing at all. And again, think about the reasons why we want to get rid of this man because he does <laughs> shady shit. He 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 for self gain lies conspiracies tries to fool everybody. Not all of those apply. He to the, the murder of. of it's not like the murder of, of a beautiful and mother baby. and her three beautiful babies, all for fucking monetary gain. That's Here's not my two. point. My point is not all of those characteristics apply to the person we're talking about, but a lot of them do. 
So if we're here to stop that man, yes, his is monetary gain. Her gain, what she was looking for, in my opinion, was something totally different. But it's still the same well, in yeah. my mind. To it's me, so if, if we're going to be calling <laughs> AD and people like him out for what they're doing to innocent people who didn't do anything to them, why the fuck wouldn't we call her out for what she did to this whole the, community? The same that, that's the reason why we're here. The and I could not. Family. I couldn't continue with that. I well, could not. But that's just it. But not only calling somebody up for doing the same thing, but doing the same thing to the same goddamn family. Hmm. I think, and then, and then again, I, you know, when you say that, I said this to y'all, I said, if y'all, by your assertions that you have to remain quiet because it's not true and don't use that as an excuse, but you're allowing, you're, you're laying the groundwork in the, for her to keep and continue lying. Mm -hmm. Now, what also offended me is the fact that I know that some of y'all knew that she was lying. You knew what happened. You knew what was going on. You knew what was going to happen. You didn't say anything. That's on you. But you didn't have to not say anything to us, the other people that were involved in this, that knew the truth, that knew what was going to happen, what was going to happen in the future. Well, and I'm My, sure there's some that knew she was That's not about being honest about. or rehashing shit or being a fucking, or causing, or stirring up drama. This isn't drama. We were here to tell the truth. That's what we did. All of it was bullshit at this point. Why wouldn't I say anything? Okay, I'm, I got to go get my spray. I'll be back in a little while. You know, one thing that really bothered me when I heard it was the suggestion that we can't, we, sh we shouldn't trust anybody on the internet. And of course, we can't blindly trust anybody. But as far as having friends, I... I mean, in a friends in a chat, we can have a lot of, and we do have a lot of friends in chat, and they are reliable and they are trustworthy. In yep. fact, Carrie, Carrie, Carrie C, um, she's been an admin for me along with the others for more than seven years. And you contrary know, contrary to what Dorothy says, that group chats are nothing but evil, and you got nothing. To yeah, with that. and and we've. As far as I can remember, and Carrie can remind me, in seven years in our Maddie admin chat, we have never had um, we have never had a bad word. Really, in it, you know, so I absolutely dispute the fact that we cannot take people on the internet as a friends. And in this case, it was very sad that this happened. I am very sad about it. I, I have, I'm for some reason, I'm, I'm able to let it go. It, it, it's not affected me the same as it's affected everybody else. But what has affected me, as I say, is the fact that everybody else is so upset, but you can trust people don't. And, and, and occasionally you're going to come across an issue where it's not you know it's not right but no don't people everybody everybody i'm in touch with are absolutely great and even if they have little wobblies with me i'm always there and if they change their mind they can come back to me i'm still there for them because what once i'm a friend you can't get rid of me <laughs> well, and, and i just i just want to say that you know i agree with with you there you know you trust the wrong people in real life you can trust the wrong people online but there are certain people there are certain people that we went to to share this information with before because we 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 didn't want to blow anything up we didn't want to harm anything we didn't want to hurt the family so we just wanted someone you know some other people and we went to people we trusted and guess what every single one of those can still be trusted the only one that can't be trusted is the one person who caused all this. Um, all those people, they didn't take our word for it. They asked us a lot of fucking questions. It really did. You know, I think, I hope y'all can hear, it, hear me first of all. I changed my thing. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So okay, they good. asked Thank us you. a lot of questions. We answered them. And then they did their own, they did their own stuff. They started looking at their own conversations with her and da, da, da. nobody just took our word for it 
But and that didn't offend us. It doesn't offend me at all. I'm glad. No, you go find out the shit on your own. But those people are still the people that I still talk to to this day, and I still 100% trust. And Lizzie's one of them. I just want oh, to yeah. address this quickly before I, I, I lose the comment in chat. Let's see, because she's addressed it to me. She says to me, Dorothy is referring to Natasha and her massive group chat. That's not you guys. That, in fact, is a lie because when she had Dorothy had her live on December 1st or sorry, December 5th, showing the screenshots that don't forget, nobody should believe screenshots because they can be altered. That Claire mm -hmm. sent her. She went off on a mass tirade about how group chats are no good. So that, in fact, Betsy is a fucking lie. She was not and has not only been referring to Natasha. She specifically made the comment about group chats being bad on her live when she was showing those Claire fucking screenshots. Sorry, I wanted to address that. Well, I and, 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 and I, I do just want to her, say, but don't stick up and fucking lie for her. Yeah, I do just want to say she actually said it long before that when she, she was actually yeah, talking was about us and how and how disgusting of friends we are and how we should be ashamed of ourselves. And then she goes, she always goes into the whole group chat thing. Like I never joined them. Well, okay, but, you know she. She's got enough enemies who are talking shit about her now. She doesn't have to join group chats. She does her own shit. Behind the scenes, email so. individually, yeah, exactly behind the scenes. Well, to be honest, if if I didn't have all of you around me, what would I do? This is my Saturday night out. I okay, started. yes, okay, and I appreciate that. But you know, I have to say this that that it's just, again, I find it, it it hurts my heart. It hurts actually my analytical soul and my brain quite a bit too. That that y'all um, supported me in telling the truth or putting out or doing the lives or whether we make videos or whatever here, the, the fundamental reason for us being here was what it was. So at the end of it all, I'm supposed to keep saying, okay, well, next time we'll get it next time. Forget about it. If everything's bullshit. No, I can't do that. So I, 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 I it's not just about the friend line or, or support that was there or respect that was, that it was gone now. I think what made it really offensive to me was the fact that those people that I have stood with wanted me to keep quiet and to not say anything still. And, and the fact that uh, there were people in this community that just, it, it, you want me to keep talking about it, but what's the point? I, everything just went to crap. It's done. It's over with. And I just it, oh, We'll get it next time again. We'll get it next time. This hasn't Come on, been man. over the coals a thousand times either, Mr. Shannon. I, let's actually go. Back not by me not and by me say, and that's what i was going to say so there's there was a long at least minimum month span since the last rant about the screenshots so november november 6 and that was when when sam you and i did did the stream showing about the ipo information yeah. i don't recall anything of the screenshots but any possibility in any chat that, that any of that came up was november 6 all of a sudden one month later dorothy on december 5th starts throwing out these screenshots and believing the same bullshit lies that Claire has been feeding us for months on end before and throws that shit out there after there had been nothing for a month. Sam and I did, well, two, I, we did two streams about it. The girls went up on BAMS to tell their story about the friendship. Yeah. And it was about the copyrights with us. That's yeah, what it was. And it wasn't it a personal thing. And it, for the calls a thousand times. So, but, but let me ask this. Okay. Mr. Shannon, I, whoever it was that is pissed off or whatever y'all are feeling or saying, whatever. Did y'all not know me at all? Have I never, have I ever come out and just hash something over and over and over again? As long as the pervy fucking broad, it's okay. You want me to keep saying that same thing over again, right? Yeah, that's okay. This is my life. This is how it ended for me, Mr. Shannon Knight and everybody else. I have every right to say what happened. But the fact of the matter is that as a truther, and my truther friends are asking me to stay quiet, or they know that she's a liar. They knew that she lied about the whole fucking thing. Well, and they right. want to stay quiet and keep staying quiet. That's on y'all. What the hell have I ever been here for? As far as I'm concerned, you know me. Claire has made us all, every single group channel, whatever you want to call it, she's made us all those <laughs> fucking liars. And expects us all to take the fucking full brunt of it. Well, she just... Well, that's kind of... It's actually fucking... It, 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 it's really upsetting me now because of the fact that... Um, it's just just carry on business as usual. Let's go ahead and make another video about how he defrauds everybody and how he looked at, you know, he he Googled incest porn. Let's keep talking okay, about that. So so one of the things that the five of Come us on, talked man. about during those two months incessantly, we talked about it, was 
um, if we don't say anything, because, you know, at this time, we still, we don't know we're wrong. We, we haven't seen anything to prove that she is or isn't or has or hasn't done this. So, and again, we don't and know. again Cheryl, Cheryl, just for a second, because not everybody may have been here. Who are those five people you're talking about specifically at this point? Nuff Nuff, Stand Up, Carrie C., Helen Happy Thoughts, and myself, and Claire. So, when we were talking, when we were putting all this together, anyways, one of the main things that we talked about was, what if we are right and we don't say anything to anybody? Then everybody's going to say, oh, you're just covering for her, which some people already were when we were defending her because because we had no reason not to believe her. We were still, we were back then being accused of covering for our friend. We didn't realize how right they were. We didn't know <laughs> that's what we were doing. But so we talked about that. It's like, you know, if we are right, it's going to blow everything up and we're going to get blamed for not saying anything. So we weighed this back and forth and back and forth. And then we decided, you know, it, it, maybe if it does come out and we're wrong and Trust, trust me, we want nothing more than to have been wrong about everything. We would have loved that. We thought maybe if she doesn't want to talk to any of us, she can talk to somebody else. She can explain to somebody else because the shit she had said to us didn't make sense. So, again, we, we were in a no-win situation. If we tell people what our suspicions were, we were going to get blamed if we kept our mouth shut and we were correct in our suspicions we were going to get blamed so if people that don't like it um or or we we tell you how what happened with the truth uh, behind the behind the scenes don't say anything keep going on it's okay well well, yeah that that was the other thing there's a lot of things and and i know i'm not trying to sound all cryptic or 007 or anything but there's a lot of things but it's between friends and no matter how we feel about this community i will never none of us will ever share any of that because you just don't that that's that's too much that's low but because of a lot of the things that we shared all together there's a lot of lies there's a lot a lot of lies it wasn't just you have to uh, it wasn't just i want people oh sorry right now because when you say you don't show private conversations that was a private conversation with what? My mom, those that are, I've been standing with and supporting our channels, the videos that we make, the things that we do, the reason why we're here. No, so no, that no. Is, when, when that, I, that's not about showing something that's private. That's that. No, that's why we're here. Why would okay, I not? Let, let me not clarify. Me. When I say when I say private conversations, I mean between friends. The shit that that Salty yeah. showed. This was specifically about the. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, that wasn't about friends. Yes, that, no, mm-hmm. no. I'm talking about friends. Just about, Friends talking, yeah. yep. sharing stories, and hey, yeah. guess what happens? The, the things are getting hazy, apparently, for people like Mr. Shannon. I, I mean, like he's thinking it's, they're not interchangeable. Okay, I mean, it, one doesn't have anything to do with the other. Y'all were very good friends. Mr. Shannon, I, this isn't shit about friendship. That was about the copyright, and I showed y'all that she lied. Betsy, who are you there asking? You what do you mean by you're still not getting asked to talk? I'm not sure who that is being directed at. Because if it's us, We've never been asked not to talk. It, it, it was people that were regular uh, uh, channel. How should I put this? Regular people, you know, other channel creators and uh, uh, supporters and people that would be on my panel on the damn time that we were working with, that we were trying, that we've been in this fight together for. This isn't a personal thing or about friendship. And nothing I showed tonight was that either. So those are the ones, that, you know, other people that, that uh, just wanted us to continue on. And not say anything at all. Not at all. Okay. Been here trying to get this channel taken down for two and a half fucking years. Why did it come back? I don't know. Let's make another I video about him and the Tay Lighty girl. Lady boys. Right? I don't know. Well, it's YouTube. Still have the ways to get him. That wasn't the only way to get him. Oh, I know, but it's a fucking joke to me. I, and I say that, and I shouldn't say it like a joke. I am being an asshole, but that was just what, what am I here for? Uh, so, what if she lied? That yeah. doesn't hurt our morals or our standards. What do, what do our morals have to do with anything? So, what I don't vibe know? that way. I don't. And that does come from the personal side of it because I did consider yeah. her my YouTube friend. Well, and I say my YouTube friend. And then to segue into into suggesting that we were turning our backs on the family on top of well, it. Well, well, yeah, my whole that, thing was, was who, it doesn't matter if she lied. Okay, then why why are we even doing this about AD exactly. then? Doesn't matter the AD lies, right? Doesn't matter. Look at 
And, and, I, and there was Ooh. one other thing I want to clear up where apparently, according to Dorothy, Claire has never told her that she was an attorney. She's never told her that she was a practicing attorney at oh, any God. point. But again, Dorothy, I'm, I'm, you know, you've been hearing this a lot from a lot of ex friends of yours and ex channels that you were friends with you really seriously need to do your research before you say something claire no you know what I that's when i got something i want to play something right now okay but while, while you get it ready i'm going to say claire has stated time and time and time again there's probably not one person in this chat that hadn't heard her say that she was a retired solicitor for a medically retired solicitor that she worked for a law firm at one point we all heard her say that i am seriously sorry that you didn't hear it and that you're trying to say she never claimed to be a solicitor well, okay okay Bam's not- a liar everybody else is a liar ad is a liar claire is a liar uh Every true channel and creator is a fucking liar. Everybody lies, 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 lies. That's what you want me to do. This doesn't have to do with a personal issue with Bam or anybody else. This is about the fucking copyright strikes. Claire lied about everything. Not about nothing about her being a lawyer. I don't fucking care who other people what they say. I don't. This isn't about Bam. It's not about anybody fucking else. If you want to be still consider this a truth community, fine. That's on you. But. She lied. We're talking about her lies, not anybody else's. I've already I'm not here to. Lucinda. I already addressed Lucinda in the chat, and I said this isn't about us calling out. All I the never do though, and I'm addressing it now. I'm addressing it now. I've never hashed out shit. I've never said. I said something a couple a fucking months ago, and now I'm back because people are saying I was fooled by whoever. Right? I'm, ugh, whatever. Wall. This is not. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit what other people right now are doing or saying on other channels. This is about me, my experience as a truth, true channel. What, what happened? Why his channel came back, which is what we've been trying to get shut down, right? Or get him off the platform. It's a fucking joke. Everybody lies. If you want me to we'll say that everybody fucking lies. As far as I'm concerned, I never want to hear the word verify or proof again from any of you guys ever. Ever. Don't say that you saw something because they said this person over here down the street and then they mailed it to the dude in the UK. So I believe them. That's the kind of shit that 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 we were at, at by that time. You what? She lies. Okay, fine. Everybody lies. They wanted me to keep, they wanted me to lie. How about that? They wanted me to lie. And I don't lie. I don't roll like that. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm not like that. I don't give a fuck what other people are saying. I really don't. This isn't about BAM. It's not about the Rusek families. This was about me being here talking against a fucking pervy fraud. We tried to get his channel shut down when everything went to shit because somebody lied. And they didn't want to tell you why his channel was coming back. And that's the reason why we are here. How the hell do you still even consider that, that, that anybody would come out and start talking about anybody else's lies still? Still, much less if it's not AD. I never called anybody else a fucking liar. I didn't, I'm not calling her a liar. I'd say she lied to everybody in this community. She lied to everybody. She lied. I hope, hope I've made myself clear on that. On that. And I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but seriously, some of y'all really need to get your shit together. I don't fucking care about what other people are saying on other channels. I have no clue. I have no clue. I'm not the hall monitor of fucking YouTube. I don't go on other people's channels. I don't. It, it, y'all are getting pissed off that somebody is in somebody's chat, right? But y'all are in the same fucking chat. You're just not saying anything. Okay. Everybody lies. Everybody does. Or they just don't say anything at all. Is that what you want me to say? Really this is a fucking joke. Would, I mean, this, this, this is why I, 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 I am. Bush. You, huh? you really need to. You really need to learn how to not beat around the bush and just get to the point. You know. You, That's you, the fucking point. Why I'm mad is because <laughs> y'all know that about me, Cindy. You know this about me. Are you fucking kidding me? How how am I going to come out? I called out the pervy fraud, right? And and people were saying, well, you should call a uh, bearded lady. You should call it this one. You should call it that way. And then let's start drama within the community, and then we'll talk about those people too. What the fuck? 
yeah. I mean, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't come on YouTube to rid YouTube of all the people that I don't like or who did things that or said things that I didn't like. I, that that's people, not. I didn't know. Yeah, people when they said something, they go, oh, oh, in in, in Outback, that's that's when uh, everybody was saying that he was, you know, talking about the child abuse and everything else that happened and calling out Bam for this or calling out that one for that. You know, I got a fucking toothless fucking gnome over here calling me a goddamn fucking cyber terrorist for the last year and a half. That's my life on YouTube. Yeah, fun. But you know what? I don't have to come out and condemn every fucking uh, toothless uh, gnome, do I? Or do I, uh, is that what I have to do? Do I have to call all toothless gnomes? Do I have to say I hate toothless gnomes? In case y'all didn't know, I don't support child abuse or arson or uh, you know bite, writing bad checks. Uh, I don't support you know deadbeat dads. Salty, stop being toothless gnomophobic. Enough. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really, I, I don't appreciate being attacked like that. Yeah, then you're gonna, then you're gonna have eight, and I'm only like fucking four ten, four eleven. So, so I either say one thing or I say everything. That's that, that's where I was at at the end. Sorry. Okay, I am gonna mute because I really have to go to drink well, all of it. Think, Ooh, you know what? I wanna I wanna take this for a second. I just wanna remind people, and I, I know that people weren't here earlier when um I showed the well, it was. I mean, the information's in that, yeah, but that first clip that shows Claire telling us how Cohen D Davis um, verified her under Claire Morgan. So before I show that, though, I'm going to play this audio clip, and you guys have probably heard it before. Um, it is Claire referencing whiskey. So just let's listen to this for a second. And, and I had to say again, I, I'm sorry, sorry for being salty, but this is how I feel. And it's not, um, please, you know, I spent, we spent three, four days watching people take what we said on that live stream was specific about the copyright strikes. Uh, that we were trashing the family all of a sudden that we turned our back on the family we were seeing the comments that y'all were leaving the things that people were being said and it was all bullshit um we okay, did the follow-up that week we haven't spoken about it since but you know you i'll call out all the liars again you if you condemn one person for one thing you have to condemn everybody for everything and i have said that and that's uh you know what kind of was the catalyst for me coming out and finally saying what i did about freaking kelly and all of that over there but um, I don't participate in this very often. I don't, but I have no reason not to say anything anymore, especially because I'm not, I'm not involved in this way anymore. And uh, in as much that I still want this pervy bastard taken down, we're still going to make videos and talk about his lies and all of that. Pretend nothing. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just, uh, I'm not there anymore. So it's not like I'm hashing out anything. This is, this is, it, it, it was over and done with. Okay, so I got my shit together here for this audio clip. And okay, once good. Again, for once again, the people that are trying to stir it up in the chat, this is not about calling out all perceived liars of the world. This is specifically talking about Claire and her lying about the copyright strikes and the fact that she never fucking was a solicitor. Let's fucking call it for what it is. But here we go. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, say, it. I honestly, I don't know. She's just a fucking idiot. So, um, yeah. You know, I can't believe that she tried to play legal games with a solicitor. What did she think she was doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I've been, I've been retired for well, eight, eight, nine years. I've been retired now, but. Why, why did she think she could play legal games with somebody who worked within the law? You know? Because she really, really thought that I wasn't I wasn't what I was saying I was. And she had a big fucking shock, didn't she? A hell of a big shock. And now she's deleted the video she did, or she'd done on me, and mentioning my son. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> So there is Claire in her very own words saying that she was a solicitor. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to show what, what Sam and I showed earlier, where Claire is explaining again 
and in her very own words, how she was verified by Cohen Davis. And it sure oh, wait a minute. I have to say something. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I just thought about this. Yeah. For everybody that is saying, you know, you, 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 we all got painted with the same brush, right? I, I, I called out Martin for when he was making those fucking videos and he was showing AD that or where he was at, the hotel, whatever. I mean, that was just bad for him. Um, we all get painted with the same brush. People think the same thing. We don't like this. We act like this. And, and, and everything. We're like this one big entity, you know, one for all and all for one. And in good ways, right? And in bad ways, no. But if we are who we associate with, I want you to think about that very well. I want you to think about that very hard. If we are the people that we associate with and the choices that we make, think about what you're saying right now about who chooses to support who or who, who, who doesn't, who decides to be quiet or who doesn't. The people that are honest are the ones that are not. Please think about the whole guilty by association thing. Y'all know where I'm going with this, okay? Y'all are smart. I can't dumb it down anymore than that. Thank oh, you. You think we're smart? <laughs> no, not you, but Money Penny and Lizzie. <laughs> yeah, you just had to say something, then she got her. You got in her crosshairs. And you go, <laughs> I'm just brainwashed, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you were led astray, and and clearly Ooh. the five of us are that friggin' powerful. So, yeah, well, she's calling everybody out everywhere. So, oh, uh, yeah, I know. I, I just found it amusing. I mean, that was not, it doesn't, doesn't insult me that I was able to brainwash two of the most outspoken people in this community. I mean, I was pretty impressed with that. So, I should actually magical. I think it was Amber's guinea pigs that brainwashed us, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sam, I need you to get your shit together for a second. I'm trying to make a point here, and you're Fucking killing my thunder now. So again, here we go. Claire in her very own words. Wait, wait, wait. Before you play that, stop. So there's a little bit of confusion in the chat. Yeah. What what um Jen I don't have, um, an open, I don't have an open. I know, I know. What Jen just played was Claire in her own words referring to whiskey. Um so I, I don't I don't know where she got that message. Um, and don't I, nobody say anything about us telling the truth or lying ever again, please. Ever, please don't. You're saying we were true channels, we were or we weren't. That we support people or we don't. Okay. Don't ever fucking tell me my business again, Eve. I'm gonna say that one last time. Don't ever fucking tell me my business again. So now what I'm about, what I'm about yes, to play. What I'm about to play is again Claire in her own words. This is the lawyer portal, and this is Claire showing us how Cohen Davis verified her. And I'm going to give you a goddamn spoiler. It certainly wasn't in any way, shape, or form as a solicitor. So here we go. It just keeps going and going. Look at that. If we are, look, see, if we are, that's my, my proof of address and my passport and everything where they... Where they um where they checked me out to prove I was. Before they even added me to this, they wouldn't. They just. They had to have a letter of authority from Frankie saying that I that he he did for me to for me to be involved. Yeah, and um, and they they went to all my they did a police check, which obviously came up nothing in the police check. They had like I said, proof of my address, utility bill, a photo of my passport. Hang on, I I'm on a YouTube talk. I don't know. So there you have it in Claire's very own words. She has shown proof of a utility bill, 
uh, a passport photo ID. And what was the other thing? Uh, the the uh, document that he said that she could work on the case, whatever it is. Passport photo ID. And, she, and at the end, she just said they did a background check on her. It's always Claire Morgan. So bring her right back to you. She's not been verified as a fucking solicitor, so let's just fucking put that shit to rest once and Yeah, and, and you they don't say it's private information or whatever, so it wouldn't be in that file. That was the file that was created that every single person, I guess, in that uh, uh, the team or I don't know yeah, how to call it, they, they would communicate with each other. Every email, bandwagon. every link, every phone call, everything against AD, they were picking up all this, all that stuff. Everything was in that server. Everything was right there in the very first thing she did be. It was, yeah, it was the dash. And, yeah, the very first thing that you see are Claire's utility bill and and, and uh, the background check. So and if there was, was credentials, they would have been there. And we were seeing other private shit that was very very confidential, obviously. So they would have been there. It's not a question of not being there because it is that sensitive information. So don't.